Chip Ori. All right, so Core gets called out by GUA. Basically, we don't know exactly what words were exchanged, but it was basically along the lines of Core, you I'll destroy no, wait, wait, wait. you. For real, okay, because right now you are lying, okay? Huh? I have some real quotes. Right okay, now. okay. Core told me in private two days ago, I oh. think GUA sucks. I don't think I will lose any game to him. And oh then later God. in the day or in the night, mm -hmm. he played him on a smurf. Uh huh. And he won two games against one. So GUA beat him one game. Okay. He said he will never lose a game to him, you know? Okay. So that's a lie already. That's core. Core and grudge matches. Dude, did you watch the epic uh, Sassy versus Core? I watched a bit, but uh, entirely. Core was getting rinsed and then he paid someone to like turn off Sassy's internet. And yep. Sassy lost all the momentum. Ay, 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 ay. Dude, it was rigged one for sure. Oof. And I, I asked Core to do a rematch. He said, you got to throw in, you know, a couple of hundred oh, dollars. You know what I mean? Blah, I was like, blah, blah. Calm down. Fucking noob. <laughs> so basically, uh, GUA suck, think uh, Core sucks. And Core thinks GUA suck. I would agree with both statements. But uh, right. see who sucks the most. That's the question. Or yeah. or actually, not who sucks the most. Who sucks less? That's the... Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm. We can put it this way. Let's see. So what's your prediction already for this map? French against Delhi on Bassin. If Tower of Victory, Core just wins, right? On all level, I would say yes, Delhi is uh, supposed to win, but... This they is... They're crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah they, they, they are crazy, especially GUA. Yeah. I will say though, Core spawn, his gold and berries are kind of exposed, and it's going to be hard to wall. Mm. Ready? I think it's pretty easy to wall, no? Maybe a little bit expensive, but... Yeah, yeah it's expensive. Wall. I mean, on this map, it's yeah. always easy to wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just expensive. So, I, I think if he doesn't take damage and goes tower, I think it's fine. Maybe, yeah. And to be fair, like, GUA's map is terrible. Everything is super forward, next to the second side. Even the boar is on the right. Mm -hmm. So everything is bad for GUA. He's gonna have to attack and pressure a lot if he doesn't want to die. Core's deer is pretty far away too, though. Yeah, that's true. Maybe, maybe he can go pro scout. Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Pro scout, keg double. Yeah. I mean, like, GUA has a good second TC on this deer pack, protects the gold, right? If he even goes for second TC. Yeah. I'm not sure. Hmm. Can you guys. I say on the... yeah. Let me just ask. Can you guys hear Marine Lord fine, by the way, or do I gotta boost him up a little bit? Go ahead. I was about to say on this map, I would say you have to go second TC because your opponent is gonna have one free sacred site no matter what. Mm -hmm. But usually, I would say if you want to win on an open map against Delhi French, you probably want to play one TC French with a lot of knights and archer and pressure a lot the map, a lot the food, maybe the gold, maybe the wood, and try to pick up a lot of uh, villagers. But that's not this kind of map, I think. Yeah, true. Sure. I mean, this sacred. It's gonna be a little annoying to wall off this sacred side, actually. Because the wood line is like in the back. So he has to wall off the full front, but... Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Uh, he's sending already villagers on wood. And he has three on gold. So, we don't know yet. But... I mean, you can play both line marks, right? I think, it's more, on, I think it's more on GUA like to do something, not on core. Or just gotta play Delhi, you know, and uh, GUA gotta do yeah. something. I mean, first, School of Cavalry. We never know with GUA. That's a, that's a first move. Mm -hmm. Sounds normal, but sometimes he likes to go to go trade, I think. And okay. trade is pretty good right now, so why not? Tower of victory! Yeah. That's good. A good matchup. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's going to be able to wall off this right side really easy. So, he can just put units on gold and just AFK, I guess, for like... to like 8 minutes and then move out. Yeah. He even have a safe second berry spot. And mm -hmm. it's 8 berries, so that's pretty good. But yeah, then he will have to move out, so two deer pack are pretty... Yeah, the, out on the map. I think the game's really going to start when Thor has to get out on the deer. That's when uh, GUA can... Fuck him up. And we'll really? see if, if GUA goes for second TC though. He's still four on gold. Yeah, we'll see because he might get pushed. Like, he's gonna have uh, only forward goals, forward deer, forward boar. So maybe he's actually gonna get pushed by the deadly who knows. 
Who knows? Core W, second mask, okay. Okay. Only three on gold though. Maybe he's gonna add one now. Yeah, he might Is the game one. spiking for you? It's like delayed? No. Wait, what Not time are you on? 05, 06, 07. The fuck? Just like you, no? No, my game's like... Chad, do you see this? Is fuck? it laggy? No, it's like freezing, but I'm not losing on time. It's just freezing. Mm, I see. Can we pause on um, 440? Let it load up yeah. a bit. This sometimes happens with observing. Yeah. Okay, 440 would stop. Okay. I was there. Okay, I'm there. Okay, when I say, like, I'll say 3, 2, 1, go. On go, we resume, okay? Yeah. 3, 2, 1, go. What the fuck? It just sped up. Ready? I'm at 4.52. What? Bro, I don't what know what's happening. Cheater. Okay, stop in five minutes. I don't, bro, it's, it's yeah, five not minutes. me. Okay. Five exactly. Okay. GUA went for wheelbarrow. Okay, I'm at five. Okay, just let it load a bit. This happens okay, if, okay. like, the replay is too close to, like, the uh, the real time, so, like, catches up. Yeah, that's... Alright, three, two, one, go. Wait, it happened again! Not me. Bro! Did I speed up? I think I speed up and we just... Yeah, yeah, just speed up to, like, uh, real time. I don't oh know my God, I think I'm not in real time anymore. I'm, like, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, but just speed up. You can, like... I can't. Huh? I I'm, can't anymore, I'm, I'm like 5 seconds late. Yeah, I'm a bitch now. What the Life fuck, is out. I'm gonna reload the game, quick. Alright, sure. You can just watch on my stream. I mean, nothing's happening. He's trying to do a little harassment. At least it's the, the lagging game. stopped. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Okay. okay, Core is actually chopping this wood line, which is kind of dented, actually. Because he's gonna chop through the... Oh my god. Oof, that was a close one. He's gonna chop through this wood line and then he's gonna fucking get the knights through. We should go for this so That's one. the first stupid move from Core, I think. <laughs> I mean, that's not that bad, right? We've seen most. I mean, it's not that bad, but you know he's gonna chop through it and he's not gonna see it, right? Yeah. That's 100% happening. Cool weapon. Okay. Sanctity, 35 seconds. Oh. 100%. I'm calling in like a, a two minutes, knights are coming through here. He's not mining gold, by the way. His workers are like running left and right. Does he really play Daddy? I have never seen Core on Daddy, actually. Mm, I don't know. He got the, uh, the health. Okay. Okay. Insecure. I mean, Gio is taking a lot of damage on these knights. Wait, did he lose yeah. one already? He did, right? Mm, I think he did. Yeah, oh. he's about to lose another one. There is no way he lose two. I just wall off this. Oh, 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 oh! oh Yo, that's getting chopped through. He, he's not even gonna notice. Hmm, I don't like how Gio plays it. He's Ooh. super aggressive. His knights are almost dying. Oh my god, one HP can die from the scouts. Yeah, imagine now if he had three knights and he goes on gold. Like, Core literally can't fucking... Not only take the gold, but he can't even take the sacred side. Yeah. I mean... Maybe... Not sure, it's a weird way to play. Look at the scout in the middle of the map, chasing on his knights. Oh, he wants the kill. Will really he get it? There's a wolf eating knights as well, or archers. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. the horseman? There is a food, a food issue on the GUS side of the map. Oof. Little food issue. Ooh, la, 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 la. Yeah, so he is not. He's doing the one, one, one. No second TC. He's just going for it. And core yeah, is just... core chop through. By the way, that's a chop through. I, yeah. Bro, I called it. There it is. And now and he, he can wall. Though. He can wall around it, right? It's only Dude, like he's not gonna though. notice. That's what I said. He no, doesn't no notice. That's a chop hey, through. You underestimate core right there. Bro, he has he's, no not that no, he's not he that dumb. No, he's not that dumb. He has no clue that's a chop through. No, that is oh, he's gonna chop through on this side as well now. Look. <laughs> oh, no. Not like this, core. 
It's okay, it's okay. I mean, GUA has no knights to run through, I guess, so that's good. So let's see, from Kor's point of view, he saw the barrack, which is a good information. He knows it's 1 1 1 pretty much all in. So he just has to secure sacred sites. And he could secure, secure the sacred site from like, I think, 7 minutes. But he doesn't really want to, apparently. He's scared. That's a huge mistake, obviously, since he's. Yo, yo, look at this, look at this. There it is, brother. Look, Kor doesn't know. That's what I. There it is. Oof. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't mind that. I just mind that he's not even taking sacred sites. It's literally the point of yeah, Delhi, so... Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is the problem. Like, he lost three oh. knights. Like, if he had three knights here, yeah. he can kite. But now, Core W. Hold Core up. Core W. EU. EU. Pushing. Let's go. Okay, that's a big army joining, but not big enough. Yeah, he's got a bail. He's got a bail. Yeah. So he is not producing knights. What is he doing with the gold? Oh my god, he's got 400 gold. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He got the chivalry upgrade. Okay. He got a food upgrade. He got, uh, I mean, the hunt upgrade. He got the hood upgrade, mm -hmm. and that's it. Core, okay, hey, finally. Hey, hey, Core got pro scouts. <laughs> but he's way too slow for that. <laughs> oh. You think he's gonna like, go for it? Oh no, look, he got all the upgrades, so he's just like... Ah, oh, it's just automatic, okay, I thought you yeah. might have rushed it. Alright, uh, never mind. Wait, making a tower there, huh? Just wall, bro. Come on. <laughs> just come wall on. on the bottom. Come on, use your brain, come on, bro. Okay, what's more yeah. dented, the wood chop through or this? Equally. Mm. Okay. And now he's gonna wall as well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's uh, taking no risk. No risk. He's double... Uh, <clears throat> Double protection right there. Yeah, right there. Nothing's getting past him. Yeah, he's very smart. Alright, so this position, what chances do you give to GUA? Because those those scholars are slowly getting up in numbers. I mean, I know the potential of boss player. Mm -hmm. He still can potentially win this game for sure. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a knight! Hey, dude, I should be a caster, dude. Look at that prediction. Right there, they're back. And he's about to mm. he's about to fucking beat his ass on the berries. Because he knows they're mm. there, right? Ah yeah yeah. So the tower was po oh my god, it was so smart. Well is it now he's gonna he's got twelve villagers there. Yeah, but still it's like a first line of defense. That's good. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh this is oof. <clears throat> I mean, it's what he said, just with one more wall in front of his sacred site, he's totally walled and he's fine. So he could chase oh. this kind of... Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's do a supply check. Oh, it's pretty even. It's super close. Anyone can do it. Oh, but meanwhile, Kor pulls his whole army and GUA runs in through the middle with his whole army. And to be frank, Kor doesn't have any archer, alright? He's only on a Spears uh, horseman. Yeah, and Against a pretty good amount of Spears, yeah? Yeah, 10 Spears. I mean, that's good enough to defend the uh, horses, right? The knight gets out, even. And GUA, by the way, is now on double deer. So now this is his, like, power up with the army. And Kor oh is not gonna go archers. He's just gonna go pure melee, which I am not sure it's yeah. gonna work. No, it's not very smart, but... I would expect this kind of stuff. Whoa, 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 where's GUA going? Hold it. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, like, Kor's army is very big, so I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Let's see That's the a very bad fight from both of them, but it's amazing. The scholars are it. not healing. The scholars are still not healing. Where are they I think GUA is losing. That doesn't have enough. Kor W. Wait, is he though? I think he is. He's just a... Yeah, but he I think, I think GUA is losing the battle, but... I feel like he is trading like super inefficiently. The uh, core. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Hmm. I'm surprised about this game. Mm -hmm. Oh no, core is going on the deer now. And another yeah. chop through! Oh, aye, 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 aye. Aye, aye, aye. 
I feel like before this series happened, mm -hmm. I overestimated both of them, I think. Mm. No, I'm, uh, you know, I really understand what we are watching. You call them both baboons and you overestimate them, okay. Of course, they are not baboons. Mm -hmm. What are they? I'm not sure. A new species, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, horseman, oh, he's dead. Oh, this army... Uh, ah, la, 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 la. He's being very aggro and he's got like 8 units. Okay, not 8, yeah. 11. And now core, I mean, that's a serious amount of healing right there. That is eight scholars, boys. That's big. Yeah, that is big. And he's double producing them as well. He's got 12 now, actually, in total. It's three stable from GA, I'm surprised. Like, the good move here would, make to, would be to make more spears, right? Because yeah, your opponent still doesn't make a fair. Yeah. yeah. But... And look at, at, and look time, at his... Look at his wood. He could make so many fucking archers as well. Like I'm not sure about so many, since his economy is pretty bad, but... Yeah. No, but he's got 700 wood. He could have one more archery range pumping mm. continuously. Mm. Oh, that's a bad army from GUA. Not big enough. Yeah, he's gotta let them... Like, he needs so many archers because he needs to kill spearmen. And he also yeah. needs to be able to uh, uh, one-shot scholars soon. And yeah, I mean, if you can one-shot spears, that's already pretty good. But... Sure. But yeah, he's gonna need way more. Way more spears. He's making a lot of knights and horsemen right now. If he wants to harass with them, why not? But for now, I don't think that's a plan. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna be a good fight. Oh. Okay, that's a little bit of a baboon fight, but... Okay. Hold up. That's such a yellow fight from Core. Yeah, the, the scholars are like not in a good position. Scholars are healing the scout. Oh no. Let's go. They're all the scout. What the fuck? Ay, 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 oh ay, my ay, god. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, oh. Oh, they are, they are way worse than what I expected. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> and guys, they are Conqueror 3. Look at you guys in the chat. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Beastie, do you look at them? <laughs> Chat is keeping uh, the count. They say dent count four in this game. Oh, maybe more, maybe more. Is that just four or is that... Are we counting both players? I mean, it's mostly core this game. Like, GUA have a bad game plan, but it's... It's just his game plan, right? Yeah, he his execution was fine, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. GUA is winning, mate. Holy shit. Are back. They're back in town. I don't know how the fuck this is happening. Because <laughs> when you lose a fight against Delhi, uh, Tower of Victory game's over. <laughs> because you're gonna <laughs> die right after with just like fucking. He had. He, when he pushed on the middle, he had 12 scholars. 12 mm. scholars will out heal anything at this point. And okay, mm. we do see an age up though. Hold up. Are we seeing another switcheroo? Nah, no. Nah. You think That's you... the problem, they're like, he's aging up, but he's against a feudal army with all the upgrades. Mm -hmm. Plus, he can make knights, plus a lot of spears are already on the map. Yeah. So, like, what do you make? Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he would need to, like, transition to full men at arm, but even then, it's... Yeah, it's pretty bad even then. Like, this is so many units that men at arms are, like, technically a counter, but with yeah. against this many, it's not really. Yeah. And, uh, Core only has one food, right? Food line on the left. And after that, he is fucked. Yeah. Yeah, one thing we can speak about. They didn't harass whole game long, both of them. When it's literally the weak point of their opponent. Yeah. They are very spread out on the map, one on one TC. And you should harass, especially since they are both making a lot of cavalry. That's very basic, but they didn't do it, sadly. Okay, this is really good for uh, GOA. A lot yeah, of really villagers. Oh, on the top, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, that's GA. not even walled. You see that in the left side where the deer are? That's not even a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, core has no food, guys. Zero food income. Yeah. That's it. That is it. Look at that food income. 240 a minute is about to sink. It's making a market. It's gonna buy food, by the way. I don't know, brother. Are we losing again? Beastie? Well, you didn't. No, you didn't dig up the middle. That's true. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter, but... Oh, he's taking the boar on the right side. 
It took both actually. That's yeah, very smart. Like that. Let's go G way. I mean, if you don't get harassed, you can just do this, right? Yeah. Like, if you did this kind of like more taking uh, at like top top level, you would lose all the villagers. Uh, maybe not immediately, but it would get spotted and then you would lose all of them. Hmm. I'm not sure what Zero is doing like the last two minutes, but he's running around the base, not doing anything except losing units. Yeah, like he doesn't need to do this, guys. He, he can literally AFK right here and, and do nothing. Core has no food. Like, that's it. I mean, he can do anything. He can eat like uh, the mosque, uh, some house, he could eat the market, whatever. He can just kill stuff yeah. and be ahead. He needs to keep the unit mass, like that's the most yeah. important. And if he loses units, then he's going to be fighting equal amount of units versus men at arm and potentially knights. And then he's kind of kind of fucked, but... Yeah, so there's no way he's losing that, right? So Yeah, I mean, he, the core For just like has fine. no food, like that's the whole problem. He just bought more food. But yeah, no relics, by the way, either. Zero taken. Yeah. I mean, Nine men at ten men at arms though, that's a good that's a decent number. Yeah, against almost no knights. So that's pretty oh, good. Look at the woodline. Horse woodline. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And GOA is just kiting like that. see guys this problem with men at arms. He's just literally running away and the men at arms can't catch up. Look, and he's just killing villagers on the other side. <clears throat> he needs to decap the sacred side. Like that, that's literally the only thing that's giving him gold. Yeah, it's a pretty huge mistake, but yeah. He, he's fine. He should be fine. Yeah, this should be a, a win for sure. Okay, if Core wins this, then... Uh... Then I don't believe in them anymore. Yeah. What a bad game. It was amazing. I think it's content. Oh my god, GUA is gonna. Oh, he's taking his fucking deer. Let's fucking go, man. He's taking the fucking fight, mate. That's uh, the last fight of the game. You're not watching it. What are you doing? What a fight. Well, uh, GUA is losing every time, so I don't know about that. Yeah. There's reinforcements, I mean... though. Hold up. I mean, oh still... no! Core didn't start herbal medicine. I mean, he Nor didn't start the any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Okay, I mean, he's dead no matter what, I think, so... He's got farm set up. Copium. Copium. He can still do it, guys. Copium. He's only 30 workers behind with, with one sacred side and no relics. Did he... Oh, he's about to overchop again. Oh my god! Is that an overchop? I think it is, yeah, no? Soon. Not this one, I think the next one. No, it is! Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is. Oh, no. I mean, the next one is gonna be... Guys... Uh, if, if anyone's playing the game in the chat, if you wall the wood mm. line, don't chop the wood there. It will over chop at a point and you will not notice it. Sometimes it's hard to notice, by the way. Like, this is hard to notice. And you might think you're safe, but you ain't. Oh, he's decapping his side. Course? Yeah, but he's just moving as hell. I don't know. Core like... has farms now. Look at the middle, the villagers are going for the deer. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, oh, That's... Core is also trying to make... Wait, is that from earlier? You never cancelled? He's also trying to make a tower there. Maybe it's, yeah, he never cancelled. But yeah, for G way, like, he either needs to find his farms or he needs to age up. I think uh, he's bleeding. At this point, maybe a little bit too many units. But... No, he's on full knights, right? So... Like, the competition makes sense, no? If the competition makes sense, he should win pretty easily. And he's still winning by a lot, right? Like, the uh, village oh, count is sure. not close. He's... I mean, look at the army count. That's the whole... Yeah. That's, this is the whole core's army. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's not doing. But to be fair, it's a grudge map, right? Yeah. Honor is online, no? so... I mean, core is fuming right now. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he is fucking balding. Like, the hairline's fucking receding as we speak. Maybe, yeah. Not for sure. A road to the Muslim. <laughs> for sure it's receding. I mean, listen. Guys, when you shit talk someone and then you yeah. you lose... Oh, oh. Shit! That, when... that stings, you know what I mean? And let's be more precise. He shit talked an American. Whew. 
when you lose against them, that's tough. All right. All right. G is is G Way gonna yoink his fucking berries as well? I mean, maybe. Yo, those berries are fucking juiced up with the deli thing as well. Oh la 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 la! The tower are coming. Tower rush. Let's go, G Way. This guy is very very, very smart. Okay. Oh, dude, he's coming for his berries. Yeah, there it is. Ay, 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 he's ay, gonna ay, fucking ay. eat his berries. I think GUA should uh, maybe make some more farms. I'm not sure what he's doing on the map like that, but that's not very smart. It's not very well. What is Carl living in this game? Come on, it's a best of five. Maybe he's just trying to tire him out. I don't know. You think? No. I mean, there's no way he thinks like, oh, I, if I just hold, I got. This. Maybe he thinks like, oh, I'm in castle and he's not. Yeah. That's what the guy will think. Mm, yeah. And maybe that's what Core is. I'm not sure. Like, if Core had like men at arm knights, like if he had like three relics and holding the sacred site, like maybe, because then you can kind of just have better units. But he's got not like he's only fucking chopping wood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. The age up is coming. Royal Institute. Okay. Or, or, oh my god, GUI has so many AFK workers. 18 workers. Yeah. Chilling. I mean, he killed the, the farm at the top, the farm spots, which is insane because it was the only source of food. Mm -hmm. He killed a few workers. I don't know, like, he's just. You can see the, the statistics, boys. It's not close. Not at all. To be fair, that was pretty one sided. Maybe it wasn't, but since Core is staying in the game forever, it looks one sided. Yeah. No, the start, I mean, the Core won the first two fights, right? He killed the three yeah. knights or damaged them. And then he took that fucking dented fight. Yeah. I mean, first we had a few mistakes, right? He started taking some wood in the front where he was over chopping a little bit. Mm -hmm. He never took the sacred site when, like, it's the goal of the sieve. You start taking sacred site at seven minutes and then you, at least one on this map, and then you move on to the second one. He started doing it at like nine minutes, which is terrible. Uh, composition wise, obviously you have to make some archer when you see uh, a rax from from your enemy, and he never did. Mm -hmm. So like. You already have a lot of uh, points where it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The thing is, even without, like, he should make Archer, right? But even without it, he had such a bigger army. And then he just, like, I don't know, that fight was just, like, yeah, so... It, it's a massive cavalry army, and he never used them to harass. It's yeah. literally, like, and I told him, like, two weeks ago, he asked me for some tips. And he was playing Abbasid or whatever. And I told him, yeah, you don't use your cavalry, like, cavalry. You just use them as a uh, rock, paper, scissor, counter, you know? He's yeah. like, yeah, my horseman, counter archer, I'm gonna keep them in my army. But that's not the point of cavalry. Yeah. So I'm not sure, like... I mean, he had, like, 20 horsemen. Imagine if you ran 20 horsemen onto either deer pack from GOA. He, you kill, like, so many workers. Yeah. And you stop food, and then you can still run back and defend in time. Yeah. That's the point. Sadly. They both didn't really do that this game, but the GOA did it sometimes. Like, he lost a bit. Just not at a good timing, actually. GOA was harassing a lot, but... Not when it's not held. Yeah. Yeah, he tried. Oh, is there gonna be a keep drop? Shit. I hope it is. It is. Where is he gonna put? Oh, he is gonna destroy that house. That's beautiful. Maybe you should do like a, I don't know, house drop, maybe? Something Ooh. cool. Dude, do a mill and then farms around in course. Oh, la 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 la. Do a castle and farms around. Oof. Like your deli. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. Wow. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. The game ended at 10 minutes. Yeah. But we got a 25 minute game. You played two hours to die like this. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> All right. Ay, 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 ay. One zero boys from, from America. America winning again. Ay, Let's ay, ay, go. Ay. Core W not looking too hot, I gotta say. Man, it was such a bad game. It was amazing. I loved it. Let's see this epic. I'm okay, it's to... two minute delay. Let's go. So what do you expect? Tell me. I think Core is going to win water, but I think I, I think GUA is going to get him on land. Oh, la, la, la. what a prediction. I mean, GUA is going to fucking be printing yeah. longbows, dude. 
Yo, this, this is the version. old version. Yeah, that's the old version. But uh, better than nothing, though. I mean, it's still like pretty. Sure. I mean. Is it very different? Yeah, it's very different, but it's not like different. very, very. Because I, I, I played mean... the. Yeah, but I played the other one. The first mode is different. Yeah, yeah. The, the oh, other one is. Hold the up. One... Where's. Where... Oh, what? never mind. GUA was. Oh, no. Core was going to GUA. I think he thought the water was there. Kick W. I mean, I think it's fine, right? It's still like. Pretty much the same map, but like. Wait. The... Yo, wait, wait, wait. Yo, what is this? He's got eight versus six. Okay. Um... I mean, but yeah, but okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. You say that, but look at the first fish distance for core. I mean, true. I prefer, but... I prefer GA. I prefer what? GA. Okay, what if core does a 10 head and makes a transport ship and makes a dock right there? I mean, it should at some point. I mean, at some point Yo. they should take the island, so. I mean, for sure, the map is not perfect. I don't get it. Why did they remove the normal road to Lolo one? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know if yes, you're struggling, but like when I'm practicing, sometimes people just don't have the map that I have. And I'm like, am I playing on the wrong map? Do, did they play on the wrong map or what? And then all the, like the version of Holy Island I have, I think is the right one, but it's removed. So no one can it's download it. it. It's not even you can download it because I had it before and it was removed. Huh? I didn't yeah. do anything. So the way it works, guys, is I have the map. I can play it. If Marine Lord has the map, we can play it together. But if someone doesn't have it and I host it, they can't play it. They can't download it from me. It has to be in the game as well. So it's like... Oh, I know. We didn't note at the start, but it's a map with no straggler tree, which is crazy. Yeah. Because it's like with most build order, you're actually... Yo, look at the, the fucking first. gold as well. Yeah, it's a uh, nade mod. <laughs> They're evil. next to the TC. Yeah. Oh, no. And the stone too, like, he's super safe with his chapel. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's dude, gonna be insane. He's gonna put chapel on the right and get, like, the most insane chapel. You think I will put it just behind the lumber camp? So I get, like, berries. I mean, berries are not important, but you will get stone. Oh, yeah, you could gold. do that too, for sure. I mean, you can do anything. No. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I think this... Like, Core can harass with men at arms and gold, right? Oh. So that's not happening. Imagine yeah. if GUA went to our black barracks or something and then he can hit anything. Oh, Core blindly walls, by the way. Yeah. Why not? But it's a bit expensive, especially if, if you have to make a door. It's very expensive. Yeah, that, that, uh, that gate is a bit dented. He did not need to do that. I mean, but... Yeah, but it doesn't have a... I mean, he could just delete a wall and... Make it from behind, but whatever. Add a dent on that one, chat. Yeah. So they are both going for one single dock, which is not very meta, I would say. I would expect two. Mm -hmm. But why not? I mean, it's a more aggressive map than Mediterranean, so I see the, the problem. Could it get carried on land? It's gonna be funny because neither the player guys knows about the deep uh, water fish situation, right? Like GUA. I mean, it's not that big, I think. Uh, I think it's really big if the game goes on. Eight I mean, versus it goes two. forever, but do you think it will go forever with no, nobody winning? No, I don't mean forever. Water? I think like twelve minutes. If, if okay, not maybe twelve. If it goes not like more. twenty minutes, that's gonna be uh, yeah, but advantage for sure. We often see a game twenty minutes in where water is not over already. Not very often, I think. Yo, what? Hey, what is GUA doing? Huh? Oh my God! Wait, what? Poor guy, he's from America. What is he doing? Wait, wait, why did he do that? I'm not sure. Like, are the villagers you... gonna go back now? I'm not sure. I'm confused. So, for those that maybe don't know, right? It makes no sense to make it here. You just make it here, right? It doesn't really change much. Because now yeah. the villagers gotta walk all the way back. And I'm assuming they're gonna go on wood, right? So they're gonna have to go all the way there. Hmm. I mean, it's on one dock. So he might have to actually... Wait, also, how is English aging up first? I mean, he made a door, he made a wall. He's, as I said, like, the fishing difference is pretty big, I think. The first one. 
Like it's not huge, huge, but it's kind of big. But also, Core made his dock further away. If he made a dock, maybe yeah. Like you see where uh, Gway scout yeah, is. Know. If he made it there, it would be closer. Oh man, I, I don't get the the Kunsi role. Like it's just unsafe now. Okay, where are the villagers gonna go? I don't know. Oh no. Like I don't get the point at all. Wait, they're going on. But food? I mean. It's not that big. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's on one dock. He needs some food. Huh? He needs more. Dude, I I'm told sure you, GUA is about to fucking spam longos. Yeah, but that's terrible. Core is getting he's stone. Just... Okay, Core is getting he's a getting... tower. Oh, I don't like that tower though. Why there? I mean, it's not the best, but if he just had a, a wall on both sides, he's totally fine. Yeah. So like, why we not? should have made What's... a tower like here. That'd be a good tower. Maybe here. I mean, I, I agree it could be better, but it's not the worst. I think it's still gonna do the job. I mean, after the last game, this is not bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. What I'm scared of, though, know, like uh, Kor, when he made his dock, he had to go back with his villager. So he's gonna stay on one dock. Mm -hmm. Whereas GUA could add a second dock and start fighting water. And if you win water, you win the game, pretty much. Okay, both opening with Galley. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Uh, uh, <laughs> so guys, when you make a uh, wall like this, it has to be in the range of DC. But because uh, this is uh, not... <laughs> and now he can just do the fucking, uh, what's it called? Paling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there's no other woodland. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. I mean, he's gonna fight with villager and one horseman maybe? Yeah, but just palings and that's it. Like, you should just put I mean, if he has villager fighting with it, I think it's fine. Oh, no. Why well, is not paling for long? No palisada. He needs to okay. palisade though. What is it? Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, well, that's not good. Cordis, just send the. Send the... Oh, he's going to the other side. La, oh, la, no, la, and now la, there's no la, time. La, la. Ah, la, 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 la. Is it choking? Oh, he can't fight with one. He needs to wait for two. And Core is about to lose water, by the way. Oh no! What is he doing? No, that's you gonna lose. Okay. Prelate, prelate, prelate. Oh no! And he dents it. Wait, what? Huh? No, it's fine. Wait, he just ran through the fucking. Oh, okay. Okay, now they get stunned. Oh my god! He lost. He's only fighting warship. Oh my god! Oh is la 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 la. Is he gonna? Oh. So guys, this he... might look good, but if you look it's at the stable. water. <laughs> He's yeah. about to lose water. And, yeah. uh... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Core's gonna switch it up. Well, let me switch the, uh... I didn't realize the overview. Look at GUA. He's making double stable. Ay, 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 ay. Huh? What is he making stable? I'm not sure, but ay, 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 it's crazy. I love it. I mean, Core, Core is giving... Oh, Core is actually going for more wood. No, he needs to give up oh. water immediately. Oh. I know what Core is doing. He's going for first bird grave because his IQ is around 10. But since he's going to lose water, it's not going to look good. It's, I mean, okay, okay. I'm saying that, but at the same time, GUA against Core, anything can happen. It's never over. I mean, Core shouldn't have gone back on wood. He should have known that the water is gone, right? Like, yeah. I think if he put all these villagers onto the food, and now he could be burgering, and yep. Gua anyway. is kind of fucking himself because Ooh. he's going horseman. Look at the water, though. It's close. It's a fight. Huh? He just killed two boats with a demo. Core W? Core W. Is it? Oh no! Oh no! Gua made a fucking demo. Yeah. Oh it's no! It's gonna be a one for one. Oh no! Oh la 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 la. Okay, Longo, Longo, let's go. Back in town. Oh my god. How many villagers before it? He... Okay, he noticed. He noticed, but. Wait, what? Huh? Or maybe they are like in a spot where they can't see anything let's because of the wood. Wait, how do I check the vision? I forgot how to. I can, I can do it. I can do it. They literally can't see anything. Literally. Check W. <gasps> and when I say literally, like they need to get it from, some, from, from something. It's crazy. They, they are just blind. Okay, this game is fucking wild. Yeah. Horseman oh, coming in. All right, little donation. That's crazy. Oh my! <laughs> Look at Quar's oh, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it hurts. Sheet. Bro, he should just so make a full. So we are going grave, right? We are for sure going grave. I mean, he's not. 
Look at his. He pulled all the villagers from food. I think he should have Burgrave. I think Burgrave there, no Kappa actually wins the game. No, against a good player, like very good player, I don't think. Against someone that doesn't know for sure how to do it, deal with it, maybe it's close. Maybe there is something to do. Mm -hmm. But I would say, like, in the overall situation, it's maybe a good play below a certain level. But I think at the top level, it would not be good. GUA winning water, for sure. Doing pretty good. Is it though? I don't know. Five fishing ship against ten. I think we can say yes. Oh la 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 la. Dimo! Ah! Oh no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's drunk. I mean, you say he's winning water, but look at the water uh, ships now. And no, Core is aging up. Dude, Core is aging up. Yeah, yeah. It's Burger. It's only the economy. That's it's it. Burger for sure. That's it. Dude, GUA is dead. I'm calling it right now. Core strikes back. I think he might die. Eh? I think the only way he wins is if he goes like... I mean, he needs to win water or more. I think he needs to finish off the water. And then maybe like Malata arms Archer and Edge to forever, but... Yo, he needs, he needs no Blacksmith right game. now. He needs Blacksmith right yeah. now. Yeah. And he's got 800 wood. Oh, look at the water. Look at oh! the water. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh! oh my god. Oh la 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 Core W And Core he's, w. he's got he's getting uh he's got fishing boats on shoreline but not sure oh! oh my oh. god Oh la 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 It's amazing yeah. Dude they're like uh This reminds me of like two kids throwing ball back at each other You know what I mean? Just throwing oh. back and forth this looks like what they do in the American show, where like they put two dwarfs together and they fight. Midget fight, it's called. Have you never seen this show? No, what is it called? It's crazy. I'm gonna I don't know, it it's like two, it's like a midget fighting another midget on a stupid show. It's American, obviously, mm -hmm. and I don't know, I see it on Twitter sometimes and I'm like, okay, what the fuck is happening? Alright, I'll, uh... People you in do the chat that. says we don't have that. Okay, well, yeah, but look up on Twitter or like Google. Twitch, check it out. We need to get to check the bottom out. of this. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Oh, double stable from Core W, dude. I think GUA has to survive somehow, but Core is losing water. Oof, the demo. Okay, Core, the water is gone. Yeah, it's funny because I called the other way around. I called that the core is gonna lose the water or win the water, but Geo is gonna win the land. But the opposite is happening. The men at arms are coming. No upgrades from Blacksmith. There it is. What a game. And Geo is making oh, farms. I don't know about that. He's making more stable. Huh? Blacksmith, yes, that's good, but you need something else than Osman right now. I don't know, this game is so bad. If he didn't, thinking, if GOA didn't, didn't make horsemen, that's an age up action. Yeah. Oh but I mean, my god, that's a lot of man at arms. Now he's not yeah. surviving, he's fucked. He's fucked. Like, core is out of food, guys, completely. And economically, GOA is way better, but I don't think he's gonna survive. No, the push is gonna kill. He is fucking dead, boys. Is he dead, dead, though? Because we never know with those two guys, like. Maybe he's gonna be very dead, but he's gonna win water, and then he's gonna go on forever. Yeah, maybe. Okay, Core's going before plus one, but it is about to finish. So his, his one man arm is gonna die, like, super fast. So he's getting fucking dented right now. And now upgrade finishes. And he's taking a lot less damage. Long was six attack, man at arm got five armor. And... I mean, Core's workers are idle. Okay. Yeah. They are idle. Yeah, they are. But, but he's, 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 he's insane. Just, yeah, I mean, he's just... Okay, Quar's doing a mistake here. You don't need marching drills. You're already in his base. Like, you just need, like, armor or damage upgrades now and just just kill everything. But there's no way GUA yeah. defenses. So no. I mean, I don't get the point of the most stable play. Yeah. Like, he, your opponent's base is very safe. Only his wood may be attackable, but mm -hmm. like, his gold is very safe, his stone is very safe, his food is very safe. Yeah. So I don't really see the point. And like, obviously, like, if he goes bird grave, then your stable is the worst choice, so... Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. 
I mean, quartz down in water, but yeah. Yeah, we say that, but look at the ship line. Mm. That's crazy. I mean, he's uh, he's intercepting reinforcements, but not anymore. But yeah. uh, G way maybe. Oh, he's running away actually with some villagers. But G way yeah, just needs to like try to somehow get an age up, like near water no. maybe. But it's gonna be out. Yeah. Like core should not lose this. I mean, I've seen both of them play. Anything can happen. It's never over, guys. The villager count is similar, but there are fishing ships, right? Or a zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it ain't looking pretty. You need... Or is sucking up the berries. He's getting wheelbarrow now. Mm. Oh, he's gonna age up next to the water. I'm just saying, yep. Yeah. I mean, the workers are there. I'm assuming he's gonna age yeah. up next to the water. That's his best chance. He's getting Maybe, the yeah. last gold. Yeah, he's gonna age up yeah, next yeah. to the water. So you make what? A TC? Yeah, you make a TC for sure. You think so? I mean... That's risky though. That shit dies it's really risky, fast. But it's next to the water, so even if it dies, you can actually use your boat to defend. I mean, that's and true. I think your, body, your like, villager count is pretty low, so you would expect, like, I need to come oh. back into this game. Wait, he didn't kill the dogs. Yeah, he didn't. Oh, that might be a problem. Like, right oh, no, now, yeah. if Jiwei had a couple of trading ships doing stuff, he actually doesn't Maybe, need yeah. land economy at all. He can just go full water eco. <laughs> he has three villagers harassing on the other side, by the way. But I think if he does that, and your opponent recognizes this play, with this kind of TC on the... On, next to the sea, you can just go like for a few rams and you just landmark snipe maybe. So I guess it's just hard in every case. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Like this landmark can actually die even if he's defending it. Yeah. So I actually think Core might get eliminated. Gio, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. Like this should have two and a half thousand health, guys. This is gonna die. Like this, look at this. This stable has one and a half thousand health, right? Look how fast it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Core is still producing units, but he's he's gonna landmark snipe them for sure. I mean, he can very easily for sure, yeah. Oh, oh it's a G, okay. Yeah, Thanks. Sheesh. What wow. a terrible game! It was cool. <laughs> I mean, that game started with a huge lead for GOA. Huge. Yeah. He got the. Core build a wall and the longboats got in anyway. Wow. Pretty huge lead, but then eventually the Burgrave. Let's go. This is the draft. Okay. A oh. rocky. Okay, it is dead Arabia. So cauldron and canal vetoed by G Way. Okay. And then pit and dry river by Core W. So okay. Core is speaking like the you know, the little little weird maps, little cheesy maps, right? Yeah. And G Way is just speaking normal. like straight up normal maps. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense because again, G Way is playing like French English and. You know, you don't want to necessarily okay. play French on Golden and Heights. they banned Ottomans, Malians. So, like, Core can play uh, Malians. I guess it's not global, no? Uh, no, it's exclusive. Mm. It's exclusive. So, g can't play Ottomans, and Core can't play Malians. Wow, a Malian ban. How about that? I Malian mean, and Ottoman ban, though. Level. That's kind of funny, though, isn't it? I think it makes sense. Now, this is a skill matchup, guys. This is like, you can't really cope like, oh, he built this, I built this. I mean, it's a mirror, right? And it's a slow mirror. So like in Mongol mirror, you can say like, oh, he had, you know, back gold and I had forward gold. But in here, it's like, it doesn't really matter where your gold is or where your stone is or whatever. It's so, a good matchup. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's just like a safe, slow matchup. So you got a lot of time to like do stuff. So if you lose, it's like, you don't lose in a second, you know, there's none of that. Yeah. Okay. Looking at the spawns, way better spawns for core. I don't actually, mind any. Actually, yeah, both are fine, I think. Yeah, they're very good boss. Like, if core puts a TC on the left berries and puts a TC on the deer, like in between the deer, maybe, that's like triple TC super safe. And I guess GOA can do the same, right? Put it on and the you deer. Can... 
It really depends, but usually you go for even more than three, I think. Yeah, yeah. you can do four for sure. If you go for four, you can just cover pretty much the wall yeah, yeah. space. So this th this might be uh, like a resident sleeper for like 15 minutes, but yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if GOA opens uh, Camel Archer immediately. I mean, sometimes, yeah, yeah, as you said, sometimes they, you just go aggressive with like, I don't know, Spears or Horseman or yeah. Camel Archer. And you end up doing damage and then it's like 2TC against 2TC and it's pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. But Korra has backstone, so that's really... I mean, they both do. Like if Korra's stone was in the front, maybe GUA goes for Camel Archer, but... I don't know if we go Camel Archer here. I've also been all in by GUA on 1TC with Abbasid, so... That might happen. I'm actually gonna call it right now. One TC opposite from G Ray. Let's go. Mm. I don't know, like G Ray is very wild. So he literally can go for like a lot of camel archer for no reason. No, I'm saying like, full full one TC bro, like Yeah, I mean. If he goes one TC, I am quite sure he will go for his camel archer uh, horseman. He loves to do that. But in this matchup I think no, there is no way. Well, let's see. Yeah, maybe he opens Camel Archer, but I think eventually it's a second TC play. I mean, let's check first, yeah. Obviously, economic. Yeah, yeah, obviously. This wing is broken for now. It's gonna be very different in the next patch, maybe we won't see it as much, who knows. Only two on gold for GOA, by the way. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, that's maybe just the build where you... You only make a. Uh, hey, he's and got go... six on food. That's a camel archer. Let's see, let's see. And Core has how many on food? Core has five. Yeah, five is fine. I think that's gonna be a camel archer. For sure. Wait, G Wade destroyed two of his trees, by the way. The close ones. Kick W. With uh, House of Wisdom. And he also doesn't didn't leave space for farms. Hmm. Two on gold? Is he gonna skip wheelbarrow? Yeah, it's just a no wheelbarrow build for sure. He's going full baboon, I think. I think okay. it's too early to call it, but core is doing the standard. Like this is the uh Yeah. The beastie build I'm gonna call it. Yeah, wheelbarrow. Yeah, this is like normal time, and Core is gonna stop at 125 gold for the fresh foodstuffs and then yeah. just second TC. And also, he has five on food, so he can make spearmen if it's horsemen, if he wants to. Yo, can we check the fucking sheep? What's happening with Core? Hello? Let's see. He's got three sheep. Um, yeah. I mean, look at GOS sheep. We have to amber. He started with, uh, I mean, GUA started with berries, unlike Core. So Core already mined a few sheep, right? It was going to be like three already. True, true, true. Okay, we start with the stable. He's still mining gold for now, but I'm not sure why. No, I don't like that. I think if you want to harass, you go Camel Archer. Because defending think... Horseman is so easy, you just make yeah. a fucking Spearman, that's it. But defending Camel Archer is... I mean, you make a Horseman, more. right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think any is bad. I think your second TC first is uh well, you can't stop second TC. Yeah. And then eventually for the third TC if you want to pressure it, you can go horseman or whatever. If Core does this well, he should be able to get a second TC. Like Yeah. I mean okay, fast. he doesn't actually have space, which is funny next to his stone, but usually but you would put it like here. Follow is going for fast golden age. That's a good call too, I think. I like it. Yeah. I mean, he's a little bit late on it, but it's a good call. Yeah, he's making a barracks. He's just gonna play it safe, which I don't, I don't mind. I don't think you need to risk it, right? Oh, and Gui is now going for stone. Okay, never mind. I like Gore's position way better. Though. Like wheelbarrow is pretty big in uh, in here because you're gonna be getting a lot of wood as Abbasid, so wheelbarrow is really good. And also if you're gonna go around and fuck around and make TC's, wheelbarrow is really good. 
So I think the, the fact that mm -hmm. Core has it is just like really, really good. It's very good. For sure. Let's see. Okay, he made only one horseman. Oh no, he made two or three spears. not doing anything. Yeah, if he just makes like two or three spears, then he can go on the, on the, the deer pack and it's fine. Huh? Yeah. And problem is, GOA invested more food. Or more resources in general, so it's... Oh no, yeah. I mean, yeah, GOA is for sure behind in this build. But I think Core still needs like... He might have to go 3TC. And Core is not aware of that, I think. Unlike GOA, GOA knows what's up exactly. He's scouting the map at all time. Mm -hmm. Core is just defending, so maybe he's not aware as much of what he, he needs to do. Um, wait. Wait, GOA is two on food? Okay. I mean, maybe he just had too much food and he was like, okay, time to go for more TCs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like he's gonna go for one more because he's sending 13 workers to mm. build a TC. And he is going the far. I see this is the problem. Yeah, yeah. No wheelbarrow, like this is painful. Yeah. So I mean, he's making slow. it right now. Yeah, That's if bad. he made a TC here next to stone, and then when the wheelbarrow finishes, he got a third TC there, that's fine. But yeah. doing it in this order is... Uh, like, look at the TC difference. It's a bit bigger. Like, of course, TC is done already. Yeah. And he's using less workers to age up, by the way. Another thing is, Quartz TC is way better because he can rally onto a lot of stuff. He can rally onto the gold, onto the deer, onto the berries in the back, onto the wood. And GUA's TC can rally onto shit. I mean, he oh, can rally onto this wood line and that's it. I don't get the point. Like, look at Core, what he's doing. He made a TC and then he ran back to the stone with all his villagers. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. He should have rotated these villagers onto stone, the TC ones. And just rally and use these on food and make army. I mean, ideally, like in this matchup, you know you're gonna go for more than two TC. So mm -hmm. that's why we love to go for like the second TC on stone plus wood. So you actually speed up your third TC and then you can adapt to whatever is happening. Yeah, like this TC basically could, should have been on stone and now he would already have enough resources. Look at this stone. He should be already yeah. building another TC. And this is the yeah, difference, by the way, guys, between like top top when you try to min max everything and get value out of everything and when you're like not really considering these things like four should already be 30 c up and look now he's gonna go to another spot to see to build a tc so now if he goes for 40 c it's really bad because he should already be mining stone for fourth so you can see yeah. how much he's delayed and these are like the um i guess like the easier things in the game to do or to fix and uh yeah so GOA is 2TC just YOLO I guess yeah the problem with Core like he didn't really defend with everything his scout is right now on the map but before that he wasn't so I mean right now he's used more archer and uh like more production of all so he must know that it's 2TC but before that he should be aware like he should look at the stone and see uh, how many TCs his opponent is going for he's too much in the dark I think yeah but the thing is, does he know? Because he's also making production, so he might think that his production is late. Maybe he just thinks he's late. Or... I, I mean, he's I'm checking sure the like... stone, right? Like, yeah, I agree with you. Now. He should know that there's it's 2TC based on this, but I don't think he does. So he is checking the stone and he's going to obviously see no, it knows. And Core is still rallying on to... Oh no, he was rallying on to stone 1, but... So now if you're bad, you go Camel Archer plus Horseman. That's a bad call. That's, That's a bigger call. I mean, if you're just bad, you do that, right? Mm -hmm. But if you are good, you make a good mix of like Spearman, Horseman, Archer. Maybe like one or two Camel Archer. I don't think you it. even, as core, I don't think you even need Horseman. You can just Spear, spear Archer and that's it. Yeah, you can start with this for sure, but then you can <clears throat> add Horseman to harass and put pressure yeah, on Yeah, you use Horseman to harass, but you don't, like, he's making... So Core's making two stables, and when you defend, this can turn out really bad very fast because the horsemen are gonna uh, use your food really fast. And like, look, he's making horsemen, but there's already spears, so what's the point? Mm. Yeah, for now it's not good. He uh, should have made it with the last, as last uh, production. And also, by the way, one thing to note, 
if GUA, and this is something that I don't know if he's gonna realize, but if GUA realizes this is Core's only wood line, he can actually just camp here and delay the fight as much as possible, and Core will run out of wood. And when that happens, she's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Because getting these other wood lines is gonna be pretty rough. I don't think he will ever do that though. It's so risky, and it's like pretty hard to spot, I think. Yeah. And maybe like, you know, on the left, he could just run out of his berries and make a lumber camp on the left, so you don't really... But it is open, though. Know. It is open. Like, to raids, but I guess they're not gonna... Let's see. They're not gonna raid. Okay, at least I, I like what Core is doing right now. He's going across the map with some horsemen, maybe to catch reinforcement, maybe. That's good. I mean, I think maybe just... not the best timing. Mm, yeah. I mean, he might get pushed now, and Core has yeah. no units, by the way. Like, look at his unit count. There's 10 spears and 2 archers, there's nothing. Yeah, he's way more Oh, I like the tower, though. From GOA. I think it sucks, but why not? I mean, you have to bring villagers here, yeah, right? I mean, I don't like That's 3 villagers, but... 1 villager, I think tower would be good investment. Oh, this is... Oh, Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Huh? Like, this kind of fight, that's what I told Core. He doesn't really understand why you should take a fight. Like, he's... Right now, he's, he feels pressured. He feels like his yeah, wooden is gonna no be... Yeah, there's no need to. He can just wait. Yeah, so there's no need to. Yeah. Like, these horsemen guys, all these, 10 horsemen, everything. He should be intercepting this. He can kill a spearman with that amount of horsemen. <clears throat> and then, if you intercept, then G-Way needs to run after you. And then what you can do is you circle around, and then you attack the archer spearman. Even if there's horsemen chasing you, you can get a good engage. But like this, like Marine Lord talked about it earlier, he's using horsemen in a main army, which is just wrong. Like, oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, and he went fucking... Oh, that's... See, that was a good choice. He went the, uh, the health upgrade first. Hmm. And G-Way is towering the other wood line. So maybe G-Way realizes, by the way, what I just talked about. Because he's towering the second wood line, but he needs yeah. like imagine if he raided here with horsemen. Yeah, he should for sure. Suddenly. Or would be You're using your stable fun. over there, and that's good. Yeah, literally Even just fucking. Fun, no. Yeah, just rally your stable here. And that's it. Yeah. If the villagers go left, then GUA realizes. Oh. GUA loves the towers. I noticed. Like making towers around the opponent. That's a very bad move. That's weak, but that's very good to put pressure on someone that is not very the, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this, uh, this tower looks like super dangerous and like threatening, but it doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's for sure denying a deer pack eventually, but in reality, you don't really need it right now. You just need yeah, some wood and it to. Well. Yeah. And especially with Abbasid, right? You can make hams for like 250 wood, so. Oh, he's got you know, 50 yeah. veils and fucking wood. Yeah. Like, all this fighting, by the way, that Court did, all of it was completely unnecessary. He could have just stayed behind TCs and wait the whole time. And again, he's oh using the horsemen as a main army, which is not how you use cavalry. I don't know, like, he's kind of trying to harass on the right, right? But it's not really... Uh, you I are mean, getting pushed, you can dude, reinforcement, you can attack reinforcement, and that's it. But... Imagine if he raided. Like, just just look at Jiwei's base. He can raid the left side, all the villagers. He can raid the bottom side. He can raid the gold and the woodline and the deer. Yeah. Sheesh. And he's using the horsemen again. He's just like losing a lot of horsemen. Which, by the way, he has more units because he has better yeah. eco, right? Yeah. They both have very bad upgrades. So they don't have a blacksmith upgrade yet. Or like one upgrade for GUA, but not the best. He's gonna lose the fight just because Wait, he's. Uh... Wait, GUA got the melee upgrade? Yeah, that's weird. Maybe he just clicked all of them. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, he's had it for a while. I saw it upgrade him earlier. I upgraded it earlier, but I didn't pay attention which one it was. Yeah, that's a weird first call. I mean, that's a problem, right? Because overall, this game, if you just look at it and you say, who is gonna make some more mistakes this game? Uh, Core made more mistakes. But Core had the good build order at the start, like, not the good build order, but yeah. like, the yeah, yeah. decent call. GUA did a, a bad call at the start, and he, he's paying, yeah. paying the right price for it. I mean, this is a different, like, 
This game, by the way, should have been way more one-sided for Core. Like, the amount of horsemen and shit he has lost here by attacking when it was not needed, he should have had so many units to just literally completely swallow the army and win the game. I mean, it's still gonna happen, but... This is the problem. It's funny when, when we watch these games, like, what ranks are they, do you know? I mean, no, it's pretty easy to call their pretty high level. Their macro is not too bad. I mean, it depends on what game, right? If you will do They're like on, top uh... 30, right? Oh, look at that, that tower. Top, yeah, that 50 was... maybe. Core is ranked 32 on the ladder, I checked now. Yeah. But the, I don't know, this game is very weird with uh, how people are playing. I think below the top 10, it's very, very sad. I think that, like, now when I'm looking at these games, like, obviously they don't play all the civs as their mains, right? But I think, like you said, Core had a good build, but I think the biggest mistake that they do is they just don't raid at all. Yeah. I mean, it's not all of them at this level, I think. I mean, they sure. are all doing different mistakes, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. But like these two guys, just, they just don't raid at all. And the funny thing is they go for mass cavalry. Both of them. But yeah. no raiding. They just don't know what to do with the army. Hmm. Yeah. Like this, what GOA is doing. Imagine if he did that when Core started chopping with 50 fucking villagers. That would be 50 yeah. idle. That's insane. And then he doesn't have a big army enough to, to fight, and then he's dead, pretty much. I mean, so, now, it's, now it's fucking over. I mean, no, no, it's fine, because Kork can have the right wood line. But if he did that before, he would have no wood line at all, and then you can't make Archer and you can't win the game. Yeah, yeah, Kork would still lose. Like, I mean, yeah. that's it. But here, yeah, it's GG because Kork has more villagers. I mean, it's only 11 more, right? It's not that bad, but eventually. That's, that's, that's what I said, it's like... Uh... It, it is very hard to spot thing in the game, but uh, like for me, when we watch this, that's the first thing I noticed. I was like, oh, he actually has no wood. So if he manages to like, if he, if this runs out, he's dead. And then he just snuck like 50 fucking villagers onto the wood line and it was uncontested for like six minutes. Yeah, I don't know. The game is not over, I think. Hmm. Like, do you especially on the left side? That's a lot of farms, so that could be uh, some nice the kills. The towers are coming. Yeah. Doors running. A small army is on the right. Doing some damage, but it's gonna die eventually. I don't know how Jiwei has more units. Like, he should not have more units. He should have way less now. Because Kor is taking very bad trades, I mm -hmm. think. Like, the army is way bigger, and all these farms are gonna go down, which is pretty big. And Kor, I think in the middle of the whole game, <clears> he does not realize he has berries in the back. Yeah. Because sometimes you get so into the game, you actually yeah. like literally go blind and you're like, oh yeah, fuck, you I ran about out of food. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Jiwei is trading like some units for some villagers and he's catching up. Only seven now, seven different. I think like core maybe. strength is probably like he's more solid and like knows maybe builds better but yeah. GUA it's definitely better. has way better multitasking like he is harassing him on the middle and killing him on the left and he has units on the top yeah and core is just like you said he's taking bad trades everywhere like he's not winning one side he's just losing every side and even yeah. though it looks close like core has more and he is taking bad trades everywhere and again look at this like Few horsemen go down, villager idle again. Yeah, Kor is uh, not macroing pretty well right like, now. He no doesn't farms. have any food. Look at left side. Farms are not working, middle yeah. farms are not working. Sheesh, she's falling apart. He's and falling again, apart, by the way, Kor wins the fight like in game one, but then loses the game anyway. Which is weird because yeah. he had eco advantage in both games. Mm. Crazy game. Mm. But yeah, you can feel like GUA is maybe uh, better at RTS overall. He has better fundam fundamentals. Maybe Core is uh, more knowledgeable about AOE4 right now. But it's not enough to, to carry a game. I mean, that's the thing about RTS games. You can be knowledgeable, but you gotta actually play them, right? Yeah. yeah. And he knows <laughs> he has to like do some like but he doesn't do it. Like, it's like, like a cold player stuff. saying, you know, I have go knowledge of Conquer. It's like, well, that's great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they also don't, right? But yeah, they don't. 
Yeah, I mean, GOA is playing it like StarCraft almost. Like he's just attacking everywhere and uh, just taking better trades. Yep. But, With uh, less economy, but. Yeah. He's doing the job. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, GOA is running out of food, by the way, and he doesn't have too many farms set up. But I think he has done enough damage and is way bigger army, so he's also killing farms with yeah. rams, which might seem funny, but at this point it's, it's expensive. Really bad for core, yeah. Look at core's oh, yeah. resources, the whole lead. Yeah. He's pretty rich. And this is why guys uh I mean I'm not saying core is a slow player, but there's a difference between pressing the keys fast and having multitasking and you can see that if all these resources let's put it this way if all these resources earlier were an army he holds this easily and then it's just the bolts i don't know because okay what i said last time to him was like you have to use your horseman better right mm -hmm. and i feel like comparing it to the replay he showed me he's trying at least you know like sometimes he sends his horseman on the left on the right but he doesn't, doesn't really know what to do with it. Maybe with he them. panics. Maybe he's like, oh shit, I need to defend. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't know where to send them, at what timing, and for what reason. So he just sends them to send them, but he doesn't really know why. Yeah. Like, the way it works, by the way, guys, it's... So you see this rally that he had whole game. So when GUA was here initially, if Core runs 15 horsemen, 10, 15 horsemen, which is a big number at that point in the game. And he attacks the reinforcement. First of all, he's gonna kill like three to six units maybe before yeah. GUA changes his rally point or whatever. And when that happens, GUA has to rally here. And when GUA rallies here, that means that Core's army is getting bigger and bigger because he's not reinforcing. So what happens then is eventually GUA will have enough spearmen to push again. And when he does that, that's when you attack the main army. Because then GOA's army is like halved. Yeah. But and what's happening... Yeah. yeah, sorry. Like, what's happening now is he's just constantly reinforcing and Core is attacking with horsemen into spearmen and of course he's gonna lose. It doesn't work. You yeah. gotta use the, the horsemen well. And even if you see the army coming, the reinforcement, it doesn't need... Like, you don't need to engage. Just look at the army and if you think your army is good enough, you fight. If you think it's still not good enough, you still do the same. You wait for the next line of reinforcements you push it and then you get your army bigger 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just get a, an advantage forever pretty much yeah because you yeah, yeah i mean you're right you, he doesn't need to engage when he cuts off the inner reinforcements but it gives you opportunity if your opponent is too late with the reinforcing you can just kill his main army but um like also i mean knowing those things is pretty difficult because i would say not many people actually know how to do that well uh and also, like, the whole bottom side was completely open to raiding. Completely yeah, that's open. The that's the problem. Like, on top of having a bad economy, you have only two TCs to defend your resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is tragic. In ABBA Mirror, I mean, in ABBA in general, like, your TCs are your defense as well, right? Yeah. So, and, and GOA's, this TC was, was, in my opinion, not a good placement, right? And it doesn't really protect anything i mean look at it now it doesn't do anything so gua's whole eco is just naked completely both aged up by the way somehow the game's going still yeah i mean we are give, giving useful tips right now but don't forget guys they, they just suck and you suck even more in the chats <laughs> okay look at it all right back what do you think of the game bt look at it i mean the worker count is a monka Yep. Core has some farms, but definitely not enough. Core doesn't have gold, by the way, so... Yeah, and there's a keep in his base, so... Aye, aye, mean... aye, aye, aye. Oh, that keep's not gonna finish, hold up. There's a oh, no, 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 no. Is this a counter throw? Dude, the GOA is doing the same thing he did with French. He's running the units around, and it's like, yes, he's killing. But he had three times the army earlier. At one point it was seven army versus 58. And now it's 40 yeah. versus 43. Aye, yeah. aye, aye. Oh, the I rally? Oh, no. It's a bad you need to make right now, I think. Yeah, it's too late for camel archers. You should make camel riders against court. For sure. Maybe you pulled. Camel riders would be sick here. Yeah. See, look. Look what's happening now. 
You see this? This is the same principle, right? You cut off reinforcements, reinforcements go back, and then you turn around and you fuck up the main army. Wait, is Core gonna win this, you think? He's really close. Yo, this is pretty bad. The archers it's are all really about close. to die. But, like, plus 40 villagers now. That's pretty big. So, yes, the army is close, but in theory... Jira is even taking relics, you know, so... That's pretty hard. Sure. But it's gonna be a micro game, maybe. I mean, GUA, like, he, you know, he's nasty at this point, right? He, like, look at the left side, just two archers in the wood line, you know, shit like that. Yeah. GUA has more farms. They are not as spread, which is cool. And he's gonna make a castle. Yeah, he's gonna take map control. So, yeah, he's for sure way ahead, but... A another thing, GUA went for culture wing and Core W went for military wing. Oof. So that's even better for GUA, I think. You think for GUA that's better? Yeah, because it's like he's already on a big economical advantage. So yes, Core has a pretty powerful army right now. I mean, but eventually, you... like, it's worse, I think. Military. Do you prefer military or culturing? In an even. I mean, on this patch for sure, uh, culture. Hmm. Military is pretty good on the next patch because of the archer upgrade, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was pretty. But big, in this actually. patch, it doesn't I think make it's much very, sense. Uh... Very underestimated change. I think you're, yes, you're gonna see huge. a lot more Abbasid archer spam in castle. Guys. It actually it's increases their the attack case, right? speed insane amount. Yeah. It's already pretty much the case, except people are... I mean, this game you could see that like, GUA had a lot of archer, huh? but he just uh, made them die pretty much. Why is he making men at all? He is America. Like what against? He's literally fighting all the units that yeah, are good it's against. Yeah, good. He should re like he's still making camel uh, archers by the way, which I mean they're not bad, but they're very expensive. Yeah. He has keeps, which is good for him. Very good. The men at arms though are weird. Like uh, if this unit comp was camel rider and crossbows. For archers, I would have liked that way more. <clears throat> Look at the supply, mate. Core is macroing very well. Mm -hmm. GUA is uh, taking map controls, but it's expensive. And it's like, not like he's doing very good use uh, of uh, the map control for now. It's gonna be useful later, but no, it's not very and useful. It's, it's pretty hard though to break out of this as core, yeah. I think. Because there's gonna be... He is mining stone with 23 villagers. He's gonna... Yeah, yeah there's another... Key, he has three keeps right now. Look at the cavalry run by. He's still doing too much, and oh, he's not fighting to it. Like he, he just left it there. Yeah, and and again, like Gway's whole part is, I think, like feudal multitasking, attacking, but probably not his biggest strength. Like the later the game goes, <clears throat> like obviously he can play late game, right? But yeah. I would probably say maybe Core is better there. I'm not sure. Maybe he plays it more like logical. Like he's already walled up. He's making a few towers. Yeah. GUA is just pressuring everywhere without really doing anything for now. Eventually it's gonna be cool, but for huh? now it's not very useful. Like, if you think about it, at this point, GUA had like 130 villagers. He could just fucking drop, uh, you know, wood wall around his base. It would cost like maybe three, 400 wood. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, oh, the men at arms on the siege. Oh. <laughs> What am I watching? I mean, I think we're so, still uh, fucked, but... Look at the knight <laughs> in the base, he's still there. He's oh, the hero. Oh no. Happy stream. Yo, that guy it's got so fucking... It's insane. Oh no. I mean, look at the supply. 150 against 124, okay, now that's terrible. He lost his siege on top of that, so it's literally the most important part of his army right now. If he wants to break out. On top of that, sacred sites are tickling. So yeah. he took a few relics. It's also extra pressure. Yeah. How many yeah. relics does he have? I mean, he has that's three well. and three sacred sites. That's 240. That's 540 gold per minute. Yeah. That's another. I want to do math and stream. That's another. Like 13, 14 workers. So the worker count is. Like. A lot worse than it looks. Not to mention the keeps, right? Like... Yeah. yeah. That's pretty hard. Oh, 
And by the way, if anyone's wondering why they're building keeps, and like, if you're like, oh, I thought you're not allowed to build keeps, in qualifiers for Golden League 2, you are allowed, yep. but in, in the round one, like once you qualify, no stone walls, no keeps. Yeah. And they are both gonna play the qualifier. Yeah. So obviously, they still play by those rules. Makes sense. Four has no upgrades, by the way. He's got like. 1-1 one, oh, yeah, one for ranged and that's it. Yeah. That's it. I mean, breaking out of keeps is incredibly hard. Yeah. At this point. Because uh, basically, it, it, if it's an even game, it's almost like a losing game because you have to make trebs and they just need to make springles. But you also need to make springles for their springles. So the math doesn't check out, Chief. Yeah, and then you just don't have gold on, in your base. And... Yeah. I mean, it's just a big advantage. That was snowballs almost yeah. totally from GUA, so it's good enough. Like, if people are building keeps like this, keeps aren't OP. It's like you already lost the game. You yeah. just can't break out of it already. But... Wait, GUA is attacking yeah, with much. villagers? <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe he estimates that they have too much. Or he's just BMing, I'm not sure. I mean. I mean that's oh, wait, that's Quar's keep. Oh, I thought GUA was making another keep on the right. Oh, interesting. I mean, it's still like you can't really do much. Yeah, I don't think he... He did not see the keep from GUA, so... Yeah. He finished it and I was like, oh. GG, 2-1. Two, two, GUA. GUA. It was such a bad game, but uh, at least this one was a bit interesting. You could see like all the mistakes because it was pretty long and pretty close. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, like this this matchup is very slow. Like the the yeah. game doesn't just end. It's just a lot of mistakes that contribute yeah. to the loss eventually. So it's very easy to explain. Like sometimes if we watch Mongol versus Mongol, the game can end in like twenty seconds, and it's like there's not much analysis. Maybe you just fucked up your spearman micro and you just died immediately. But Abbasid, I think, is one of the I don't know if you agree, but one of the least random matchups, I would say. Even with spawn and uh, like just gameplay in general, it's very hard to like lose on RNG or like whatever. Yo, I wish more people took fucking uh, uh, show matches like this. We actually talked uh, uh, a while back, like maybe two months ago, Marine Lord and I. We were talking about hosting some show matches, but like nobody at the top level wanted to play. I mean, it makes sense for us, right? It's like. But it's like, bro, it's fucking content, you know what I mean? Like, they don't I mean, when use... we When we started to do it, it made a lot of sense, because it was just after... It Red was Google downtime, Lolo. yeah! It was downtime, and it was about to be a team game tournament. Yeah, exactly! So like, we were like, we didn't care. It's like, literally no one cared, and we obviously knew there's gonna be a patch, so it, it didn't matter, and everyone was in good form, right? Because it was after Red yeah. Bull. So, some of the show matches we wanted to do, and I get why they don't want to do it, by the way. Uh, like, the brothers don't like play against each other. So, Poppy Paul Wham didn't want to play against one another. And Lucifer from Vortex didn't want to play against one another. Because it's, like, it's like a brother thing. Like, they don't want to compete. I wanted to do against uh, Lucifer, but yeah. Lucifer I, I wanted like, yeah, to, I, I wanted to play against. I wanted to play against Lucifer and Mista. Like, to do a best of seven, but yeah. they didn't want to. And then I think Mista versus the Muslim would be a good match too. But now Mista is inactive, so that's, you know. Yeah. You know what a good match would be though? Uh, we should maybe, I don't know if you would be up for it, to, I don't know if they would play, but to organize Canadian versus Spanish bros. I mean, I don't think they would be up to play right now. Like, yeah. Maybe right, after the good. Golden League, but that's, I don't know. We'll see. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oof, Core has front both things, and GUA, I mean, for sure he's doing a tower. Oh, 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 GUA, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. For sure, tower rush. And Core is going with the safe Let's see. mail. He knows. That's a weird oh. matchup, actually. I'm not sure about this matchup. I think, I think, China, I think China wins here. So this is what uh... happens. It's close. It, it's a it's oh, a yeah. gamble in a way, unless you go immediately to scout your opponent. So, look what's happening. GUA is going for a water because he wants to see the dock because he wants to know yeah. where to tower rush. But core because he's not going for the dock, he's immediately just vacuuming all the sheep. So he's gonna have a shit ton of food. And if GUA now goes for barracks, he's gonna commit a yes to tower rush. 
But by the time he gets to Core's base, he might not realize that Core is actually as having a mill under the TC, which is obviously not good to tower rush. Like, what are you gonna tower rush? Wait, is Core yeah. actually gonna go? Huh? He's going a late dock, I think. No. Oh, Doesn't yeah. make a single bit of sense, Ritali. What? That's really bad. So right now he's calling the fish. So he knows that his opponent is not. Okay, okay. So right now, if he knows no, his opponent is docking, back. if he knows his opponent is docking, he can go for a barrack and then he can push as the China, okay? With a lot of on food and a little bit on wood and just sustain uh, pikes. <gasps> if your opponent is not docking, you know he's gonna tower rush you. And you're but just throwing another spot to die. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Oh no. Dude, is he even gonna make the dock? No, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it because, yeah, Khan doesn't really, really uh, do the deal at the start. This is really but yeah, like, yeah, you know, Kor, he just, uh, yeah, he's gonna lose his dock to Spears. Oh, G so no, you don't even have to tower rush, right? You just literally go to the dock and you're uh, yeah. And like, Gio could literally say, okay, no, I don't. Too, but you can go right up. Like, now. Like, maybe yeah. until the Spearmen are here, he has time. Yeah, he needs to wall immediately. But like you are dealing your age too so much. If you do that from the start, I get the point. But here you don't do that from the start, you went mill into this. Yeah, now which... he should have two fishing ships already doing work. Yeah. But So yeah, he's dealing pretty much everything. He's not gonna, oh, he's gonna defend any with army, nerves. anything. Tommy! Oh but he has no food for that. Yeah, but he, no, yeah, he, he doesn't make any sense. Like you if you want to do this build, you can do the dog first, you can make like one fishing ship, and then you have a better build. So maybe it's just like he's doing something smart in theory. But he's not doing it right, so it looks terrible. Yeah, and GOA is full committing, by the way. He's not just making a double spear, he's just producing yeah. spear. And now you can just kill the villager with your can, and then you just kill the wall, and you will kill the barrack uh -oh. for sure eventually. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I mean, to be fair, GOA, one problem he does have is full economy is not the best. He doesn't have a lot of uh, ship left, only three. He has two on his scan, but he needs to go back after he kills the villager, I guess. Yeah. And GUA is already going gold, by the way. Is he yeah. gonna stop making... Oh, he's still making spear. Yeah, he should still, for now. Like, you need at least maybe... If you want to kill a wall plus a barrack in time, I would say like eight, nine is a good number. And then if you oh, see your opponent making spear... Oh, so low as well. Yeah, pretty low. Is Core giving up? No. I mean, he's making spears, right? So uh, maybe I mean it could work, right? If GOA stops making spears, and you literally jump on him with like ten spears for no reason, it will work for sure. Like he will defend. And okay. again, this is lack of scouting. Like GOA, I mean, okay, he needs to get the sheep back, but he also needs to know if the opponent is defending or not. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he could play the situation differently. After seeing that, he could say, okay, I go for a Rax, I make a lot of spears, and then I follow up with a dock. So I actually have a very good economy. And uh, yes, my H2 will be very delayed, but I have a lot of units on the map, and I will be fine. And I have a better economy, and I just noble this economy into win. So you have a lot right. of possible Here choice, stuff? but... Is that dog yeah, dead? Stones. No. I think uh, it's maybe. not dead for now. But GUA is coming with uh, a dock himself. So he's gonna die. Eventually. Core can age up really fast, by the way. The amount of workers he has on food, yeah. he can age up super quick. Okay. Yeah. When you, you have the food, yes, but for now... For now, it's a problem. GUA's got three sheep uh, and like two scuff Ooh, sheep. Yeah. Okay, oh, GUA. Oh, but that's oh, my God. dead. I mean, if this duck is dead, then it's gonna be a, a close trade, I guess. Oh. Don't let him out, just keep him there. I think he's stuck now. He's stuck, but he's trading pretty much 50-50. And then his dog is gonna be H2 and he can just finish... He got uh... the resources from it too. Yeah, he's just fine. Oof, and now the biggest issue, guys, in all of this is Core over made so many spears. And he won't be able to actually kill Uvu because it's next to DC. Like... Yeah. Maybe as as core now you just not suicide into dock but you pre-split the spears and you kill the dock anyway. 
I mean, to be fair, like, I don't think he has enough to do that, but his opponent is not making a bot instantly. He's making. Yeah, I don't think he can do it. He needs I don't to, think he will he have time. Attack now. He needs to spread now, though. Like, he should not. Obviously, he doesn't know. Yeah. Oh, this is not. I mean, I would expect a, a bot very soon, so I understand he's not doing it. I mean, he's kind of doing it. He's just chasing villager. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not making, making the a, a boat. That's weird. He's making two Mangudai. Boat now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's still a good situation for GUA, but it's very weird. And remember, like, he only has like one or two uh, ships left at home. He will have to go on some deers or like berries at some point. <laughs> and again, the lack of scouting. Where's Core Scout? It's like, why is he going there? He should check what uh, his opponent is doing. Because Mongo yeah. also might be rushing to Castle now. Like, he just doesn't yeah. know. So. Oh! Oof, almost conduct. I mean, at least he's cutting the map. Maybe he's like, yeah, maybe there is some ship over there. And there is one, apparently. Maybe more. Oh, the man gets it now. Yeah, Mongolia is gonna be a problem. Nice Michael also, from GUA. A mistake from GUA, by the way. This <clears> dock, <throat> preferably, should be placed like here. I don't know if it was maybe possible because it's, I think it was possible. Because yeah. if you upgrade arrow slits, then core yeah, this is just unusable, right? And Mongo can get arrow slits really easily. It makes no sense to get it there because you don't need to. You actually want to put it where your opponent places dock. I mean, it's still a game. Like, if he comes back on water, it's possible. But Jiro I mean, is making another block, I don't know. So I would. Sounds pretty hard. Yeah, I don't think you commit that much. I think you just make fishing ships and go castle slowly as Mongo. And just do a massive land push. Look at Jiro, man. He's going for the boar. Very early. I mean, that Easy. makes sense if you can defend it. With nine builds? Yeah. He's calculating. He's like, I'm going to lose one. So I'm going to yeah. have. <laughs> oh, still have... Is he going to lose it? Clean. Nice. Clean. I mean, he can. Like, he, ma he makes a jail and then you can have one on the wood, for example. That's fine. Maybe he's making a tower. I don't know. He's gonna have one AFK. Let's go. Curtis. Yeah, but he can just use it on wood, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I mean, again, in theory, Mongol should be in a pretty good spot. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh, that's bad. <gasps> he fucked it up! It was not full damage, and on top of that, it's next to a dock. You can do that. Like, it's bad. Like, when you play a multiple oh, demo no. ship like that, it doesn't make a single bit of sense, literally. Like, you have to go Hulk plus Archer first. Going yeah. demo doesn't make sense because you can counter it with repair. Yeah. If you have fishing ship. Or, like, if you have just a dock. So, Mongo was in a better spot, but. <laughs> I don't know. Thinking he, a lot. he also doesn't have arrow slits, first. by the way. What is he doing? Make huh? a fucking arrow slits. He's making a, 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 a outpost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Mate. Yeah, it, like the arrow slits is free with Mongols. I mean, you get stone yeah. for free, so. Oh, and also no, no. this. Look at his base. Idol and everything. It's terrible. Oh. Are we going to game five? Hold up. The worker's still AFK, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. One more kill is fine. Now, is oh, la, la. Oh. he's making more demo ships? It doesn't make any sense. And well, you know what the fucked up part is? He is actually Omega delaying his castle with all these demo ships. Yeah, but he's killing apparently. I don't know if it works. If it works, it works, right? But it's crazy because you expect your opponent to do such a big mistake, and then it can work. But if he doesn't do big big mistake, you just you're just dead. Look at Ko, what is he doing? <laughs> Look at the ball! <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Why? I don't know, I don't get it. With how many villagers? Like five? He's got no army. That's like a shaman baboon. Like if GUA was castle and he's making like men at armor or lancers, like yeah, it I mean I can't like, it's I still know. it's still weird to do, but it's like okay, but GUA has zero units. I actually zero. He's got Khan and that's it. I know and he's this still is, making like And this is five that. villagers, guys. So these villagers are gonna take at least two minutes to do this and run back. And it's 40 resources per villager. Per minute. So he just lost 400 resources. 
Actually, more than that, because you also made the wall. Yeah. Okay, he's aging up, but aging up with like 40 supply, like it doesn't make any sense. You, it's, if you win the water, I understand the aging up, but here it's like you have nothing. Yeah, the reason he can age up is because he has this boar. When this boar expires, yeah. his eco. By the way, look at GUA's fucking food. Look at the deer. Like, one is super open and the other one is yeah. walled up. His bears are walled up too, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. It's crazy. Maybe it's a 10 head, actually, from core. No, it's terrible, but it's <laughs> fun. It's a one head, but maybe a 10 head. Okay. I just don't get their plan, you know? Like, I don't feel like they. Wait, what? I don't know. Don't look at the bottom of the map. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Why not just wall like this? It's way smaller wall. Look, it's like boop, 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 and you're done. Where's he walling there? Ay, ay, ay. Oh my Life god. How many villagers did you pull? Oh my. 12 villagers. But, like, why are you fucking scared of Castle Age? Because, okay, he's doing that because he saw Castle Age, right? Yeah. But what can your opponent make? He's on, like, two fishing ship. <laughs> he, he's, like, his gold is not safe. But, like, ship. right now, you make any kind of unit. You can attack the gold. He cannot make any units. It's GG. And right now, you're like, oh my god, he's gonna make so much. He doesn't have anything to make. Like, he, he doesn't have money. What are you doing? So, guys, if Core did not make a single wall here, and a single wall here, and a runtime, he would have been in castle already. Which is why static defense, most of the time, is bad choice, unless you have too many resources. But all this wood, if that was food and gold, he would have been in castle already, and then it, it, he's completely fine. I, I, like, honestly, they just overestimate castle for sure. Like, you could stay feudal forever and make a lot of units and you will win 100% of this game. Yeah, if if, if GUA had full fishing, then yeah, yes, you need that. you need to yeah. panic wall like this because you're yeah. literally gonna die. Because Mongol is gonna like double produce lancers and men at arms and you will die. But yeah, like Marino said, in this situation, he can't kill you, he doesn't have the eco. And you can see, like, look, there's no units coming out. Now there's units coming out. And when did he age up? Like a minute ago, a minute and thirty ago? I like that con. Is walling a bad idea almost every time? It's not necessarily no. a bad idea, but if you're working with timings like rushing castle, because clearly Core wanted to rush castle, he could have had like 10 crossbows now. So, just to put it in perspective, he could have had 10 crossbows and GUA would have these two men at arms. And he would have no walls, right? But he doesn't have like walls. How much he spent on walls, right? Like, he spent like, I don't know, 100 wood at the top. And at the bottom, maybe 200 wood plus all the no, this is more time where the worker are, sure. are idle. Yeah. So like, if you do some small walls and you it's secure once one part of your base, it's great. Like but he, like, yeah, he, he used so like much. he used probably seven eight hundred wood with or uh, resources yeah. with idle time on these two walls. Which, by the way, look, even if he didn't make them, the men at arms would come through now, and there's already a lancer. So it's literally wasted completely. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, I think this wall is safe. It looks on it's the mini map sure. like it has a hole, but it's not because he deleted the end palace. It's just the angle. Yeah. So who's gonna win this? I don't know. Uh, Gio is there, no? I mean, Gio should be there. It should be there. Look at the supply. I don't get it. Yeah. He's only two walkers ahead. Yeah, and, cool. and Core gave up the water by the way. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure why Core doesn't have more workers though. Isn't that weird? He has song for a while. It's good, yeah. I mean, I don't know, maybe his economy wasn't the best because he, he should, had so much idol. He should repair this for sure. Like, yeah. the only way to lose now, if, if these units get in and somehow you just fucking dent and lose all your villages. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. This kind of game is fucking wild. And that's his kind of game where, like, Core will be like, what was my mistakes? <laughs> like, what did you do right? What did you do right? Say one thing you did right. I Nothing mean, was good. By, by the way, guys, just like someone might think like we are like making fun of them or whatever. Like I know, I, I don't know about GUA, but I know Core will like rewatch this whole vod and yep. see what we what he can we do love. better. And I think we gave them like a lot of tips or like at least like pointers maybe. I don't know what to call it. 
So I think uh, I I think they'll I hope they will like uh, appreciate. It. Obviously, we you know we meme a little bit, right? But yeah, we're uh, we're not serious, right? We're not gonna. I mean, like... I hope on this game it wouldn't be like what was my mistakes because sometimes <laughs> he's doing some very bad games and he has, he's like, yeah, can you sure look at it? Well, I don't think I did many but things these, wrong. And these, then he's like, these walls like table. These walls come down to I think inexperience and not understanding the how the economy works yeah like the position and where the economy was yeah yeah mm, i don't know this game was weird from both of them like from the get-go it didn't make much sense huh? the only what? thing that makes sense was gua why starting. do you make a sprinkle mm, I, he saw a lot of mana times he's like wait he's making and... another sprinkle oh my god oh, no, 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 no. what was my uh, mistake to head I mean, I, for I sure, he doesn't understand the position right now. Yeah, he thinks he's gonna get siege pushed, but I mean, he, he will get eventually. But maybe yeah, eventually. Bit too early. And again, if if GUA had like massive economy, the siege push would be beginning, like already. And you can say like Quarry is just pre-preparing, but like realistically, you're playing against Mongo. You should literally, you can literally go like two stable. Or three stable and do lancers, and you have a passage to his base that's free. Yeah. You can free read the shit out of him. It's fucking Mongo. It's, it's a Mongo that's behind. He cannot defend this at all. And you you cannot die. Like, you're safe with this completely. <laughs> oh my god, is he gonna take this relic in the middle? That was GUA's relic, pretty much. So if he can take it, that's good. I mean, that's secured, right? Because GUA is not gonna take it from there. Even if the thing yeah. dies, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And he's gonna lose um, the archers now. Kick. That's what he said. Yeah. I killed it at least. It's gained the wall now. Wait, what's the what's the relic count? Uh, so GUA is gonna have two and core three. That's also awesome. yeah, normally yeah. That that is also pretty bad because GUA aged up like two minutes before core, went two prayer tens, and he's gonna get two relics. Yeah, that's terrible. And now he's on two DC plus dynasty. Yeah. And GUA is just on 2TC, but he has the fishing economy for now. Yeah, but, but look at the look at Korman. Is... Wait, what? He's making arrow slit on this dock. What is he doing? Like, at Wait, this did... point, you give up this. Like, there's, Wait, there's did... no point. Did you know about the technology, uh, the Chinese technology on dock? I didn't know about it. What the fuck is this? What is it? Look. Oh, you don't see? No. Uh, I can like... switch the caster, man. Let me see. It's crazy, what the fuck is this? I, I've never heard of it. The thunderclap bombs? Yeah? What the yeah. fuck is this? Yeah! Yeah, did you did not you know? No, I didn't. Yeah, they got fucking nested bees. It. Like actual nested bees. I mean, China is so strong on water that you always win before it falls. So... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> True. That's crazy. Yeah, I actually the tested touch? it. They're fucking is that good? insane. Yeah, they're yeah. insane. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's insane. They similar. shoot while moving, I think, if I yeah, remember correctly. That's surprising. <laughs> Okay, so we have a game, like, it's pretty close now. I would prefer, like, normally China is better in that game. So I would I mean, this is the scariest but... point for China, for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like the siege push. So yeah. now Ji Wei, I mean, I say has a timing, but he is behind, so I don't know if it's even a timing. But this is like, the siege push is the Mongol strength in this, in this matchup. If the siege push doesn't work, China will just... I mean, he's basically gonna have like double the workers at a point and then super over. So, G Wei should. Uh, okay, he's making siege already. Does he not yeah. know about Springles? No, of course not. Oof. Oh, that might be really, really bad for him. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense, Funko. Yeah, so the next of Beast, too, like, it's just very good. But it would have been like. Uh, like, another thing that Core. It's one of those things where he didn't do necessarily anything wrong, right? Oh. Underwhelming. But if he opened with Nest of Bees, like the first yeah. thing yeah. that comes up, he could have actually pushed immediately with the mana crossbows he had. He could have pushed across the map and not let him even get uh, the relics that he got, not let him get the sacred site, and he could have pushed him off the gold and stuff like that. So it's like making sprinkles. Technically wasn't a mistake, but making Nest of Bees first will allow you to actually attack your opponent. Because Nest of Bees, especially in these low counts, if you can protect them, are fucking nasty. 
Yeah, no, it was not the good timing to make them, but it makes sense uh, eventually. But we are like right now. His gold is very forward, and it's the only gold safe on the map. Oh, 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 oh. So. Wait, does he not have vision? Oh, his vision's kind of scuffed there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I instant that better. Yeah. Okay, now you make a shit ton of spring gold because if you lose the fights, it's terrible. Oh, but why is he making this to be now? Especially that cocky guy. It's his only gold. So right now, it no could be a. Oh my god. Why are you making this to be now? That makes no fucking sense. He's making more. So right now, like the only purpose of GA is to deny, deny the gold with his shield. Yeah. And that's... if Core is uh, aware, he should be aware normally that his army might be even or better. So like, nest of these are not necessary here. He can make one. And guys, again, we talked about this before. They they don't raid. Core should literally mow down these villagers with like, imagine ten lancers going here. W where is he gonna run? Do you know how many villagers he would lose? And he's had the stable. Oh, this is this is really fucking bad. Hey, Core might die actually. He might Look at the actually. Supply, what the fuck? That's he Chinese, might Chinese. actually oh fucking dent it. Oh, and Luke's eyes are run by in the base. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this run by? Oh my, he broke the wall? With like yeah. seven units? Yeah. Eventually. Wait, he doesn't see it? I mean, I would not see it. <laughs> but Quora has so much gold, bro. He doesn't even need yeah. gold. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> but if he keeps part. making this army, he will need it. Yo, but he sure. can make a keep. I just remembered, he can make a keep, just fucking... Yo, he should yeah, but... take, he should take uh, his G-Way's gold. <laughs> he could, he could, yeah. He could go there, make a keep, and then it will be a very good uh, move. That's a lot but of But the problem right now, yeah, uh, no, he's just play, playing the spring gold fights, and eventually he's gonna get have some gold problem. So right now, if you, if you are cow, you could literally say, okay, fuck it, okay, I will lose uh, the gold. But he uh, could go like literally mass stable and mass horseman, or like mass malatar or whatever, and just go for the trade base pretty much. Yeah. And it will still be good for him. For him for sure. Holy shit. He has so many workers on the fucking wood. <laughs> 70? Wait, yeah. he's got zero on food? Oh no. Oh, he's making granaries now. Start a bit, uh -huh. like on the left. But that's way too late. His income is gonna fucking plummet. He's not making any units, by the way, for like a long time now. He's trading, I think, better with Springles, considering yeah. the, the difference, right? But I think Kors are actually gonna dent this one. I, I, I think it's not over. It will just depend on who wins the uh, siege fights. Kors losing workers? Oh. How is worker count equal? I guess it's I guess GUA has two TCs, but. Yeah. No, but Kors uh, should be ahead. Oh. Yeah, but he's losing a lot. He lost a lot on the gold, he lost a lot on the. Oh, uh, what are you. Oh my god. He's losing the siege? I'm not sure. I didn't see. I mean, he just. And you say that, it's still like five spring gold. I mean, yeah, but, 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 look at his uh, gold. Yeah, I know, I know. And also this. Bro, core. Look at this. How many spearmen are here? Four spearmen. Okay, okay. Core W. Dude, now you just fucking go for it. You just say, fuck it. Click, click Nesta Beast. He needs to split damage. One thing that core is not doing very well too is like, He's boosting the the, war, the work uh, siege uh, production, but he's not boosting the clockwork uh, tower, which is pretty sad. I mean, not boosting, but like not using it at all. Oh yeah, that's pretty sad. You should always have this one up. Yeah. Uh, it's you very should different. go back. You should go back. Like now, just go on your gold, bro. You got the gold. That's all you wanted. And now you see that you're like, okay, let's keep doing the same. But I don't need to make more crossbow, you go like full uh, horseman, let's say. You could go like full horseman for sure. I think, yeah, you can go full horseman. Good because you're behind too. walls, you can go, you can even go fucking, uh, uh, like pure spearmen at this point. Yes, because crossbows good are not good against spearmen. And you only, if you have a siege lead, you only gotta protect it. So you can go spearmen and, and that's it. But he needs yeah, to keep losing siege. Yeah, yeah, he's not using, uh, cock tower at all, which is pretty bad. Because they come with extra health. Okay. So Kors still has some wood on the left, like GUS main wood line pretty much. 
He still has the wood line on the bottom if he wants, so he's still like very far uh, off resources. He's still fine. Mm -hmm. The gold is gonna be a problem soon though. Pretty soon. But he should be fine, like. I've... Oh, he's making a good castle right now. Where is it? Let's see, in the middle. Oh. I That's mean, very oh, wait. Crazy. I don't mind no. it. No, I don't mind it. Yeah. Where? Dude, GOA doesn't have any vision. Look. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Oh, that's too late. I mean, this is China. It's already up. <laughs> yeah, and now he's gonna control even more map, and it's just too hard. Oh, oh, he's about to throw. Oh my god. Is he no, gonna no. throw? It's only, it's only crossbow. It's, it's only crossbow. Yeah, yeah, it's You're four nest of bees, though. This, this yeah, keeps yeah, already up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, G Why does GOA have fucking, like, how many crossbows? 55 crossbows. Yeah, no. Core doesn't even have an armored unit. Yeah, I didn't think about it, I think. Um, he just went for a must in it, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, this that should is... be very good for Core, but... Yeah, this is really... Know. Oh, hold on. Micro? 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 <laughs> Micro? Yeah. That's good for Core. Yeah, this is good for Core. What? At you know what's time... funny? Look at the army supply, but this is actually good for Core. <laughs> it's good for Core, but look at it. Like, GUA, close to an age up. He's a, a run by, he's going at the bottom oh! of the map. Oh my like, god, did you, you see it? Like, a lot of stuff is happening. Did you see yeah, the village <laughs> Oh, bottom side? Wait, it's hold up. It's a villager run by. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Because right now, okay, GUA can recognize his opponent is literally making all siege. You can literally make a horseman or like manatar or whatever you want, and you fully commit on it, and then you crush it with no Yo, siege. Yo, look at core resources. Hold up. No, it's not over. Dude, I think you just go big dick. Oh. You just put a fucking... I think what? you just you just put a stone wall and you go for the landmark. He's aging up. What yeah, the fuck is he doing? Why? That's too early, I think. He's Wait, wearing lancers. It? Look, he's wearing lancers. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a mistake. Not a good timing. No. I mean, yeah, you don't want to be aging up when you're literally getting your uh, monastery nice. tower rushed, but. He can go lancers, he doesn't have the dynasty for it. Oh, 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 oh. Nest of bees. And these are, yeah, by but... the way, these are not uh, clockwork nest of bees. They got shit health. Oh, he's losing so many, and that's why he goes spears, by the way. That, oh my god, he's gonna lose all the siege. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh my... What is H4? Let's see. Like, the run by didn't do anything. It's actually bad for GUA. But he, he needs to... He, he can't actually make lancers. He needs to... Uh... No, yeah, he can't. He can only make knights for now. And he's gonna... Oh, like, horseman if he wants. No, but knights is a big mistake. You cannot... Yeah, knights is bad. He cannot, like, I mean... I don't even mean because of the fucking 42 crossbows, I just mean, uh, I don't know if... You, you have to get a lot of stuff in Imperial, and making knights will vacuum your fucking gold completely. Yeah, no, he could go horseman though. That would be a decent choice, but like his economy doesn't make sense for that. He's not heavy on food, he's heavy on no, wood I, and I gold. think you commit now. Like, I think right now you go the fucking... Um, What's the vision landmark called? You go that and you go fire lancers. Like you already committed. Oh, no, 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 but you look gotta. at his player. You got it. Yeah, he's, he's dying right now. Yeah, but he's. What is he doing with the imperial? He's not doing anything. I mean, he just checked bait in himself. Yeah, he lost. He killed himself. <laughs> like going in post table. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't help with anything. It's just bad. Wait, did he make the landmark? Which one? Oh, he just oh, he used up it. all his food. Oh, this is making He's horsemen missing. now. Oh, that's so late. And these I, are not yeah, even imperial not... horsemen. Oh, yeah. They're fucking feudal horsemen, actually. Yeah, it's terrible. Is GA gonna kill him? But it's not a relic. Oh, uh, no. He's I gotta keep he in his main base. Yeah. I mean, dude. I can buy oh, Maybe? Do you, you, dude, he's gonna go in the fucking... He's gonna ah! go into his food line. No, don't do that. That's cheating. I mean, to be fair, like right now, okay. he can go through the top with his net, uh, nest of bees and go defend his, uh, his farms. GUA is on, running uh, all his crossbows in, which I'm not sure about it, Chief. That's terrible. Like, doesn't make any sense. GUA just got the siege control and he needs the crossbows to maintain it. If he loses them all, the siege is gonna go die next because he has nothing to protect it. But at the same time, Core just engaged the crossbow army for no reason. You literally have so much time until they are doing something yeah. good. You should just rally just it on the granaries and wait. Yeah. There's nothing else to protect, like, you should yeah, no. just rally them here and wait. Because also, you don't want to engage die. here. You want to wait for the opponent to move in as far in as possible and then you fuck them up. 
And Core has zero upgrades, by the way, on armor. Zero. Actually, zero. Yeah. Zero. Tragic. He's killing Springles? See, this is another mistake. He's killing Springles with Horsemen? But why are you killing Springles? You have, you don't have Siege anyway. He should have just sent all Horsemen on the crossbows. I mean, I don't mind. It's for sure. It's not the biggest mistake for sure. It's like still uh, some good value, but yeah. Could have done better. Dead, no? Core or GA? Core. I'm not sure. Like, they are both dead. <laughs> <laughs> they are both bad. I mean, he's gonna kill the castle in the middle, which is like GG pretty much, I guess. He should, uh, he should get more stone. He has stone in the back. Core is still not on the Imperial upgrade for Horseman, which is very bad. Yeah, he's got a That's why it's pretty close. I yeah. mean, also oh no crit Okay, finally, he's losing the middle. Where is Let's he see going? what he can do. Maybe he can take the gold from GL. Who knows? Ah, no, it's GG, right? He has so but look much at the supply, man. Income. Look at the supply, it's crazy. Close. But he has so much food income, how can he not defend this? Get he's it. just taking fights after fights that don't make any sense. Instead of grouping for a big army, he's just going one by one. Okay, rewall. Four traps though. Hmm. So the problem is these four traps will die immediately to ten horses. Like look, he just... he's rallying like one horseman at a time. Yeah, no. Man, if okay. he, no Kappa, if he had just pure Spearman, he would have killed his crossbows like five minutes ago. Nice, no, he's coming up with you against crossbow, it's fine. Okay, so now GUA is pushing with a lot of traps, but at the same time, right now his army is not looking as good yeah, as before. Yeah, GUA needs to take a chill pill here. Yeah. Like, he's about to lose everything. And Core should just run into... And Oh my god, he's pulling 11 wheels. Core should just click these horsemen onto traps. Yeah, you can just. I mean, you can just. Oh, he right. has. Hey, he has bombarding placement on the barbican, actually. Oh, that's cool. Please make some black smith and red, please. They suck so much. I mean, the plus plus uh, damage upgrades are first, so good. Okay, Core is rewalling his wood line at the top, which is important because obviously it's uh, his wall full economy. Is there a. Forward on placement, that's very good. Okay, yeah. let's see if he can kill all the traps. Honestly, it's a very good trade. Yeah. And he's H4, you remember, guys? Sheesh! Core's got Extra it. Extra with a full setup. Full global farm setup, which is insane. I wonder if we look at our games, are they, is there this many mistakes in there? No, of course not. Because, like, the problem with them is that they don't respect some of the fundamentals of RTS, like some very basic stuff, you know? In our game, we pretty much always respect every basic stuff, and then we do a mis decision mistake and there, but all the fundamentals are always correct. We never take stupid fight that doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. We force fights that doesn't make uh, like a sense for one player, but it's like force. Yeah, so I, it's think, really I think our game would have ended like a long time ago with one fight, basically. Or like you lose water or you lose something and it's yeah. like GG. Like for example, this GG. place where uh, GUA denied gold, the game should have been over. Like once you have the siege count, you should never lose it. It's not possible to lose it because you have the income and your opponent doesn't. I don't know how the fuck that happened. But I also don't know why Core made Springles into Nest of Bees. That made no sense either. And now Core, this is extreme overextension. Like, he's pushing so far out that he's gonna lose everything. Like, he just stabilized. He has Imperial. But he if, should just if, wait. Yeah. If he saw GUA edging up, I would understand maybe the idea of pushing. Yeah. But, but yeah, now look, he's gonna try I to make a key, but he just lost everything. Yeah, and he has horseman as we said, and he's he still like not doing any harassment or anything. Like, no map control, nothing. Yeah. But it's still a game because it's H4 against Age 3 and we have spikes H4 and horseman H4. He's making blacksmith upgrade right now, so it's a start. Yeah. I mean, Jiu has a lot of units. But, and see, like now, Core is counterattacking, but this is, you need to defend now, you can't counterattack now. I'm gonna have a Bombard, Emplacement on his Barbican. So 
So if you don't lose your farm, you're fine. Ooh. I'm not sure. Three mango nodes though? But one of the problem is that Core doesn't know anything about the map. He has zero map control. So right now, what does he attach? Like we know where the sheep are, where like uh, the wood is, where the gold is. He doesn't know any of those. So like his run by doesn't make much sense because he didn't scout for it like before. I think he's just gonna right click and shit. Or yeah. he's gonna go for the farms. Like, well, the second special. TC maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Now he needs to defend. Huh? So like this rally should be like back in the, on his farms maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, make a cheat he doesn't it. need to defend. Like just this is not killable. The bottom yeah. keep because he can just garrison everything. So he needs to just rally on to the farms. That is the only weak point. And he needs and to right target this like barbican. Reason. He needs to target his barbican onto the middle of the archers. Yeah. And now he's just bleeding units. Like what is the point of this? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Look, he's just bleeding units for no reason. He lost everything in the main base because he's just straight up fighting against Lancers, which is not gonna work. And he still has money for keep. You know what he should have done? Like, I think what would have been a good move if he, if he actually keep dropped in the GUA's base with the army. I could have had uh, like a few. Like, just few you things. stop food income completely. Yeah, for sure, that's very hard to replace for, for GA. And even yeah. if he kills the keep, it doesn't matter because then you will have more units and the game's over. Let's see, what's the play now? Our oh, core is dying. He's play solo now. No, 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 he's about to clean up everything, huh? Yeah? Oh. Okay. No, no, the barbecue can... But he lost his gold. Shoot. He lost his gold entirely at the top. He's starting to get pushed from the north. And it's not very clean, right? It's not 100% clean. I think we are starting to die. But I mean, like, I don't know, Chinese economy is insane. 60 uh, on farms? He can make so many units. Oh, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom on the stone. Let's go. He's breaking out. Where's making? I mean, it's a castle that defends pretty much three castle after, but... I don't know. It's not too bad. I understand the point, at least. He should have fucking keep in his granaries. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, you can just do it at the entrance of your main base and then you're safe. Left, right. And... Well, oh, yeah, you just in the gunneries if you want. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's broken. I can't believe that they're fighting so long with Age of Disadvantage and Core is losing this. Because the Imperial units are just so much better than the Castle ones. Yeah, but I mean, like, you have a lot of tower to help you. You know, doing knights against horsemen, which is like. Like this, kind just of run by, go for the gold, go for the look at this. Yeah, but once again, like, he doesn't know where the gold is, he doesn't know, like. I mean, he knows where the gold is, he doesn't know which one his opponent is using. No upgrades. Yeah, no university, I guess. Okay, too bad. No, but not even black sheep, you stopped the yeah, yeah. analysis. I know GUA is doing the push on the, on the farm. I mean, to be fair, he's gonna get cleaned again. Yeah, but, like, where's horse workers, by the way? Oh, wait, wait, wait. look at the supply. Okay. I think oh, it's coming back. I actually think if he YOLO'd and went for the uh, Vision Landmark, if these were Fire Lancers, he would have destroyed them way earlier. I think you should have taken a risk. After you age up, you should just commit to it. I mean, I think the mistake was literally saying, okay, I'm gonna go H4 and I mean, make yeah, it yeah, stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, like, sure. that's the biggest mistake. And then, of course, if you want to. If you say, okay, I have to play this position where I'm H4 with mass stable, I see the, uh, what you're, you're, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like, you committed it. already. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, he shouldn't yeah. have aged up. You should have just killed him in castle with way better eco. But once you commit, it's like. Then you upgrade horsemen in Imperial, like that's just... Yeah. Yeah. And these horsemen, that they're doing this, is very good. But they should have done this 20 minutes ago. Like, imagine if these horsemen were 20 minutes ago, rotating and killing villagers. And you don't need a lot of horsemen. I mean, this is 15. He could have done it with 5, and it would do the same thing. Okay, we have a castle in his base. Call is safe now. And he's gonna... Yeah, he's, he's gonna got a castle on the... Or keep on the right side too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I think now Core has it. For yeah. sure, right? <laughs> yeah, there is no way. You know, he's already like... H4, he already has some good upgrades. Not all of them, not a lot of them, but... 
He's on the full setup of the Granary. He is going back on uh, Malat Arms, which is a good choice, I think. I mean, not insane choice, but it's just uh, makes some sense. I mean, I guess this arm, sure. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna kill the dog, why not? That's cool too, but that's probably not the biggest... Uh... Is he gonna lose all the horsemen, you think? I hope not. But at least that makes a little bit of sense. He wants to kill the water economy. Oh, GOA over made fishing ships there, I don't know. Yeah, I mean now, 16 men at arms, he has completely wrong army comforters, so... Oh, unless... Unless... Oh, oh that's my fine. God. I mean, is it fine? He's gonna shoot again. Yeah. No, look. Oh, look at him, he's already run by his base, it's fine, like, it's all fine. Maybe he's fight, he's fight on the, the front leg, it's not gonna go well, but... Horseman run by... At least right now, he's kind of mapping, right? Like... He knows where the wood is, which wood is uh, dead, which wood is uh, still uh, alive. He knows where the full economy is. He still doesn't know where the gold is. But at least now he knows and he can send run by to this, uh, this point. How did he lose the, the fight on the left? Yeah, yeah because he sucked, but whatever. <laughs> okay, we see a keep. That keep is very, very optimistic. That is an optimistic keep. Guys, that is a very, very optimistic keep. Oh god. Oh god. Is he targeting villagers? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Shit. That's a pretty big army from GA. That's pretty scary. I mean, I, I think versus that, you just go like, you are H4, you can go for some H4 siege with spikes and mallet arms and you are totally fine. Your horsemen, you should never use them like that. He keeps making horsemen yeah. to use them as a front line, but it's just run by with them forever and that's it. Yeah. My favorite part <laughs> against Mongols is like, when you do run bys, you literally just A move around the map and you just kill all the yeah. towers and you just kill all the shit there is. You don't even gotta use them properly, you just fucking let them yeah, no. do their own thing. Yeah. You start taking back map control even though they don't really do much. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Oh, this game was crazy because it's like this kind of game that Kors show me sometimes. And then he's like, what would you do from this position? And then so obviously, but like, his position from the start, like from the first minute of the game. Yeah, I would not since, do that. <laughs> since his build order is wrong, you're already like, okay, that's fucking weird, you know? Like, Dude, I always tell that to people. Like, even when I play against someone and Twitch chat asks me, what would you have done in his position? I'm like, I wouldn't have played like that at all. So it's hard yeah. for me to say what I would have done because I would not it's play like, like what that. am I watching? <laughs> it's like when you have a, a realistic dream, you don't really know your dream. But if you see the Muslim with air in your dream, you're like, oh my right. god, I, I w you wake up instantly. Mm. You're like, oh my god, it's not possible. Right, right, That's right. It's pretty right, much right. the same with us playing Age of Empire 4. Mm -hmm. No, but it, it's like... It's like hard to say, like, what would you do if you were core? I mean, he's literally, yeah. like Mirror said, his first 30 seconds of the game were completely wrong. Yeah. They were completely wrong. So after that, it's hard to say. It's like, oh, what would you have done? Well, it's like I wouldn't have done the first thing. Like, yeah. if you make I a dock, make a dock. If you don't want to make a dock, go to feudal. You can't open mill and then go dock. It just makes no sense. It's just bad. Oh yeah, this game should be over. I don't but think... we have an insane game here, on our hand. It's still going on, I'm not sure how. I mean, I'll say it was entertaining. Yeah, it was very good. It was the best game, for sure. Yeah. It was very close. The closest game, for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's going nuts, no, though! What? He's what countering that's himself. Misclick. That's probably a misclick, yeah. Just like he didn't want to make knights from there. How is he out of food? He's got 52. But he's got... He's got a uh, agriculture level three. I mean, he's just policing a lot and trading poorly every time. I mean, Gio's army is pretty big, and he's making a lot of force for a front fight. So that doesn't make any sense. He's not making siege anymore when it's the best timing since you have uh, an age up. Yeah, like Core can literally make a sprinkle. Is gonna shoot from oh. fucking here. The keep, the keep on the right. Oh my god, makes sense. Dude, that that's how. Sense. That, see, this is how you throw a game completely. That's how you 32 it, villagers! You can kill. <laughs> just That's beautiful. With zero with zero support, 
32 so, like, <laughs> like, even though the timing of this doesn't make any sense, he still has some save gold at home, like 2 or 3 save, save gold. So like, why are you doing that now? It's working, congrats, but it was not when the play. Yeah. But yeah, that was the play apparently. Like here, if you can uh, say yeah, that was what what is the MVP play? It's this one, but it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I I'm just like what I'm shocked the most about is the fact that he cannot win the game for 25 minutes with Imperial Army against Castle. I don't I mean, understand how. Imperial Army, but no University upgrade. Blacksmith upgrade are not insane. So it's literally like you have imp Bro, from the racks and look like the at stable palace cards. They got 210 health. But he's against Arboletrie and like uh, crossbow and archer and pikes. So there is a front line and a decent back line. A big army on top of that. Okay, does GUA have oh he has zero lancers. I wanna I wanna see fucking GUA's um how much HP does Lancer have in the castle? Do you know? No idea. Mm, let me check. I think it's like... Wow. I mean, the Lancer in Castle is 230, I think. That's what I mean, and Palace Guard got 210. That's like... It's no, no, for sure, but... And they're cheap as shit. I mean, yeah. Wow. I, I just say you didn't use every upgrade from Empire, otherwise it's not close. But if you don't, sometimes it's close. Okay. This oh my god, guys. The most entertaining game. There was a lot of... Back and forth, I would say. And guys, and last we are going up. into game number five. Oh my god. It's gonna be on Arabia too, that's cool. I mean, on, on Dead Arabia. Elcheri against English. I'm surprised about Elcheri a bit. I mean, it's good, but it's like. I don't Wait, think GUA is Elcheri? Yeah, I don't see Oof. that often. Yeah, I don't know, those games are crazy. But maybe with the, the commentary, core, we now understand what I mean by like, since the game doesn't make any sense from the start, it's fucking weird. But like, if you look at it closely, and you say, okay, he made spring goals because he anticipated the spring goals push from his opponent, it's smart, right? It's just like, it didn't make sense at this exact timing, and yeah, he should have done something else at this time, but eventually it made sense, right? So it's not the worst play ever, it's just like, Maybe the. I mean, the but that's the difference. Play. That's. I mean, yeah, but that's the difference between like top and you know. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like first and the should have been a nest of bees, and, and he should have pushed immediately. Like he had way bigger army. Like uh, then G Wave didn't make. He went second TC after the initial push, so he had no units. If he pushed with the twenty crossbows and one nest of bees, he could have done so much damage that it is game ending, right? Because it's like you deny gold, you deny this. Then you can go kill the dogs if you want. You can do whatever. But the fact is, like you said, he went Springles first. And okay, that's fine. Because you know that Mongol Siege Bush is coming. But then why do you stop making Springles? It, it just... I mean, it's just like he's picking the correct decision for like another time, another moment. And then it's like freaking weird. But I don't know. I'm just saying like it's like it's clearly not the best decision. It's not close to be the best decision. But at least it's someone around it, you know? So because... It's someone around something logic, you understand why he's top 30, you know? Like uh, someone in uh, gold or like diamond, they they make like the worst decision possible. Like <laughs> all of uh, 1,000 possibilities, they maybe pick like the... <laughs> Marilor really likes going decision for... worst decision possible, you know? Marilo loves going for Twitch, uh, god damn. I mean, it's true, right? Because there is a big difference between you guys and Core, and you can see like the amount of mistakes they are doing is insane. And he's like top 30 in the world. I mean, this is why when I tell people, like, I mean, you haven't streamed in a while, right? But sometimes I tell people, like, the difference between top 1, 2, 3 and, like, rank 30 or 50 is, is like, enormous. Like, it, it's it's so far apart from one another in basically everything. And I always tell people, like, if I played and I wanted to play against Crackity, I don't know if he's still in the chat, I wanted to play 10 games against him uh, to see how many he can win. We didn't get to do it. But I think it would be like a 10-0 or a 9-1, even though he's like rank 30. Because all these small things add up to a bunch of shit. And I think that top players, what they know how to do best is just end games. Like, and I notice this when I'm playing as well. Sometimes I get behind against like rank 50 yeah, or 100. No. But you can turn it back no. super easy. I'm like, oh, even this is still good. I always see you against Rico and he's like, yeah, 
he doesn't know to end a game and you're just coming back at them. Yeah, you're coming to, uh... back slowly, right? Yeah. But then if you play against like top top, the game like you can't come back because everything you try just doesn't work. Like they what you think is like, oh, I'm gonna go to the boar, you know, all the way around and I'm gonna try to sneak the board. They have a unit already there because they know that's the only way that I can come back. So they always like anticipate your next move, especially if they're ahead. So when you're like playing, what you do is you're like, you ask yourself, how can I lose at this point? And if you can figure that out, then you can figure out what your opponent will do as well. Right? And then you just shut that down and the game ends, the opponent's leave. And this is why sometimes when tournaments happen, people are like, oh, he left too early. Or like the opponent, uh, you know, like whoever, Vortex, Beast, or Marino, they left too fast. They didn't. They know that we know the game is over because maybe we did try something, but the opponent shut it down already. And it's like, you, you can't try anything else. And he's not going to let you just, you know, do nothing for 10 minutes and come back in the game. He's going to kill you in the next two minutes. So the game just ends. But at the same time, sometimes you see, we see people like you staying in the game very long and then you come back against like top 10 player or like top 20 player. And you're like, okay, maybe I should stay longer in the game. Yeah, yeah, but I, I would say, like, regarding well, late because... game, I'm used to, like, finding ways, I guess, to come back. So yeah, I but... stay in. Hey, you find a way not because you you're thought. very good, just hey, because, like, it's a mixture of you being very good and then being very bad. I always right? thought people you always can come back. Like, place, in some situations, it's just too hard. Yeah, true. Like, I don't Especially always like, come I back, but... I don't know. Yeah. But sometimes you make it close, where it's like, it's already crazy, it's close, right? Because you are dead 100% and then it closes. And then you come back potentially. Or like, sometimes you get to a good position, but your opponent is still good and you are like, dying slowly but steadily. Yeah, At yeah, least yeah. you almost come back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think you should try, right? But... Yeah. Like... Um... I mean, sometimes you try like from... You lost water, the opponent have like 20 fish. I mean, and you're still I'll, I'll give an example because this is like a, one of the one of the like fastest games at, at Red Bull, and a lot of people <clears> were like, "What the fuck?" And a lot of people asked me when I came home, "Why did Marine Lord the game between you and I on Boulder Bay?" People were like, "Why did Marine Lord leave that game?" It's like the game's over, you know? Because people are like, "Oh, but he could have tried on land." It's like it it doesn't work, you know? Like you're not gonna build a TC on land and <laughs> out macro the water. Like it's just not gonna happen. And it might seem possible, but it, it's just not going to happen. And I mean, it depends against who, maybe. Like, it maybe. depends against who, obviously, right. But when you see like a quote-unquote preemptive GG at the top level, more, more often than not, it, it's not really preemptive. I do agree that sometimes it does happen, by the way. Like, people yeah. just give up too early. And we do see English boar, by the way. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Boarders. That's crazy. So yeah, you see guys, the game plan already is fucking weird from core. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, if core was to ask for Hitler, what did I do wrong? Like, to me, this is fucking weird. I mean, everything is weird because you can start, okay. If I had to pick, maybe not on this map, I'm not sure, but most people will maybe go start with a Malatam Rush, right? On, uh, on this matchup. Mm -hmm. Maybe half of them, let's say. And then half of them will maybe go for like pressure into TC. But there is like, he's committing to a full push. And I like, at high level it's terrible to do that because right now you can just start cutting reinforcement with his uh, horseman. Yeah. Once he does that, he can just get a bigger army, he crush it, and then it's pretty much GG because you have too much army compared to your opponent and he's gonna have nothing. Yeah, these kinds yeah. of fully it's rally, like, these kinds of full rally English pushes are not good because of like, what Marino just said. You can just cut off reinforcements. And. Like it's good to push a bit, like pressure, but not not fully commit. And and same like yeah. GA and so he's fucking weird. Like he's making a tower. He could literally and rotate his, uh, his wood a little bit in the back. He could make units at, at, the, at the same time, and it will be fine in like 20 seconds. Yeah. But instead of it, he committed on like a tower, which costs a lot of wood, a lot of idle, and now his, his economy is not as good, but. Like GUA like, has enough to defend, end. by the way. Like he yeah. does this army defends this already. So this tower is useless. Yeah. Which again, he has lost like 120, 30 resources because it's tower plus the villager gather time. And and also his uh I guess he's gonna make farms, right? 
I'm gonna call, yeah. Gonna oh, get... eventually, like, the tower is useful, so it's like, as I said, it's not the worst decision ever. It's like, maybe top 10 decision you can take. But it's not, like, the, the, key, the, the very good decision that's gonna give you a good lead, you know? Yeah. And now, core. So, in theory, like what Marinord said, English should have a second TC now. Like, that's how the, the one of the playstyles is. But, he doesn't have a second TC. And now this is vulnerable. So now Core has to make a tower on Boar instead of having farms. And now GOA can push him. But in this matchup, HRA should never be even able to push English because you're English. But because he went yeah. on the Boar, now that's possible. And it's like, again, if Core asks, what did I do wrong? It's like this situation that we're having now should not happen in this matchup. It's just not a thing. Like, I personally was never in this situation. I've played a lot of games of this matchup. You're not saying. Where English is in the boar and HRE is committing a lot to units and now he's going for second TC. Yeah. Like what is Core's plan here? And this seems like he just doesn't have a plan, right? Because he's not getting upgrades, he's not getting military upgrades. He's not aging up and he's not getting a second TC. So is his plan to end the game with this? Apparently. Maybe it's just a pressure into ending the game with a real push, but it's terrible. And he's getting raided by HRE, which like, I get, yeah. you know, it's, you're English. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's a weird game, but, uh, G -way, second TC. Yeah. he's running out of food, by the way, two sheep left. Yeah, and he's on the, like, his second TC is very Whoa. bad for, like... What? Why don't I make it to the left? Yeah, I don't know. He saw the like right now, I understand like the best position will be in front of the base to defend the deer, but his opponent's army is too big. Or like he's kind of dangerous, so I get the point of making it here. But if you go on the left, your opponent's army is going to be very far from home, so yeah, the yeah. reinforcements are but not. But he as saw he had he lost. Uh, he yeah, no, lost yeah. Into the, the units, right? Like once here again, like it's just a small decision. It's just a TC placement, but it's a very bad placement. Well, it's a like, small decision as in like it's an easy decision, but I would say it's a pretty big one because he is out of food. He's not like his villager production is uh, slacking yeah. and now this is going to get raided. He didn't get and again, oh, small thing, right? But he doesn't have enough gold for Aeroslip. So this is going to be perma raided, which means that this is his only food income now. He can't get this because obviously he's going to get raided. So even though this push is bad, it might work because, yeah. I'm not sure, like, I still like GI's position, but yeah, he is not macroing very well. His decisions are not the best. His second TC is not the best spot, but he still has some uh, possibilities, for sure. If you're doing push like core, you need to get wheelbarrow and double products. Like, almost immediately. Oh, yeah. Because you're not gonna kill HRE at four minutes, so you might as well delay your army a bit and get double products and wheelbarrow, because that will boost your economy so much that he would have way more units now, which is when he actually wants to push. But against Sibs that you can potentially do damage super early, you would maybe skip wheelbarrow and double products to get the units out faster. So what are we doing as a jury? I guess you should go for Master Chair right now. Master Chair and maybe some uh, upgrades. I yeah, the same gold uh, bottom left. Man at arms, yeah, potentially you can. I mean, from what he's doing right now, I don't think he will make a barrack from this position. I mean, he can get gold, but... He could have I mean, also could... made TC next to the gold and berries, by the way. Yeah. No, no, you had a lot of possibilities for the TC. That would be very, very, very key. Yeah. Because again, this TC make... is like a tower and you can activate emergency repair. So even if it was yeah. on here, it's still fine. I mean, he has... Berries, bottom left, potential gold, and he's uh, moving there with some units. He knows his opponent is not gonna raid. I mean, most likely not gonna raid. And now G but Way is going yeah. for gold, by the way. But again, this is not the time he can <coughs> go for gold. You don't have time for upgrades. You need yeah. units. I mean, I don't mind if he send like two or three villagers to do like plus one armor. Eventually. But yeah, he should have mass archer right now. And he doesn't. Like, he might die actually, like, it's crazy. It's very crazy. Because it's literally not a possible play from uh, the English to do that. At I love it I mean, in theory. He's, he's had so many, like, he's had this many units, I feel like, for a while. Like, this same amount. Yeah. I feel like his yeah. army didn't grow much. I mean, he has a few units at home. He's oh, not. Scout gone. That's pretty bad yeah. against English. 
Not emergency repair, but he doesn't have another slit, so whatever. I know he's losing his uh, chapel, which is like his key place where this he wants to This is why you don't put your chapel in the front against English. I mean, you can say that, but at the same time, you can just say, yeah. You either had a bigger army earlier on, and then you make a second TC over there. And I mean, yeah, yeah, he could have made the like, yeah. second TC on the front there, sure. Because I get the point, right? It's like on wood, plus food, plus gold, yeah, yeah, plus sure. berries, sure. which is insane. So, like, you can play around that, but he didn't play around this, apparently. I think Coral wins, no? Yeah, Coral should win. But then again, you know. <clears throat> like, it's so. Yeah, he's, even, he's red in village, or what the fuck? Yeah, he killed too many, I guess. Yeah, but he's yeah. idle on TCs a lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gee, I mean, he just doesn't have anything for this. Right now, he's D on the left. So right now, what could Core do? Literally go on the left instead of doing the, the yeah, push this, on the chapel. Yeah, this literally doesn't do anything yeah. right now. <clears throat> like, these horsemen, again, we talked about this in the Odyssey game, but these horsemen should be intercepting this or raiding or but, like whatever. To be fair, like this game, I feel like Core is playing pretty well around the fact that he can get caught. So he's not a uh, Yeah, but he like... should try, right? He doesn't know that. They should try. Like, Quar yeah. is sending in small groups. Like, he's not sending yeah. one at a time. But he should try. Mm, I don't know. This is... Uh, 31 longbows is a point where they one-shot horsemen. So, I don't, I don't know about that, Chief. And Quar doesn't know where to push. <laughs> no. Oh, no. We're back I mean, at farms, it. why not? Why not? And to be fair, he doesn't have much to put in the TC, so it's not super dangerous. You know what's funny? If GUA actually made no units and went burger, he would have killed Kor. Here. Potentially, oh, yeah. Another scout. Spearman. Two spears. Scout go down. <clears throat> And like from this position, I'm sure, like if he doesn't really look back at it, he could say, okay, maybe you just can't go to TC against English. But no. It's just like if you make a lot of mistakes, you can for sure. But if you play it correctly, then you're fine. Obviously, this game, he made too many mistakes, so he's just dead, but... It was possible for sure to go to TC. Yeah, of course. You should, yeah, just attack the rams with archers, no? Like, yeah. they do shit yeah. damage, but you're gonna kill it. <clears throat> I think Europe did it. Let's go core. Core W. Core W, let's go. Core W, the English from 2021 with no worms. No, it's Italy, the Genesis English. <laughs> it's what we did at the first yeah, moment. It's very small map. It's literally 2021 English. He has zero forms. And he's getting double broad X now. Let's go! And now Quark can literally just stop making units and go castle, upgrade them and... Boom. He can do anything. Yeah. He knows like his economy is better now because he did so much damage. Yeah. So, oh, whatever he's doing is fine. Nice micro from Quark. Four W, let's w, fucking guys. go, bro. Look at this let's micro, dude. Sheesh. He's, Pretty good micro to see on this his, fight. Like, his hairline might be receding, but goddamn, yeah. dude. No, like this, I like this kind of fight, right? Because usually when you see them playing, you're like, okay, they're doing like worst possible micro ever. Oh, this, this fight was clean from core. Mm -hmm. It was what made sense. You defend your uh, archer with your spears, and archer are doing the job. Yeah. Don't have any to do anything. Anything with your spears, except yeah. defending. Damn. Core does it. Wow. Yeah. Good job. 3 to 2, it was so entertaining, and it was super close. All right, guys, now we have the next show match, Marine Lord versus Core. <laughs> Let's go. Core W. Core W. Let's go, Core interview. Let's go, hold on. Hello. Wow. Grats wow, Core, to wow. the champion. Shit. Wow. This fucking guy, dude. Call W, call W. I'm the chimp. Okay, what? Which game do you think you played the best in, and which game do you think you played the worst in? That, that I is. I don't think I played thing. good in any games. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, and which one was the worst? Um, let me recheck. <laughs> I mean, I think we could do a tier list. Which game was the worst in order? You know, like I think yeah, it's pretty let easy. Let me open the match history. 
I woke up literally before this and I will go to bed what? now. What? My schedule is so fucked. You sleep eight hours and then like... No, what? I slept four hours to wake up for the show match to be able to play and now I will go back to bed. Sheesh, you're like a polar bear. I guess. Yeah, you're a polar bear. Okay, game one started pretty shaky. Game one of the day. So yeah, I think I had a good point at one point, but I made no archers. So yeah, they you... kind of fall apart. Okay, that game you omega through. By the way, I would suggest you rewatch the VOD. We had some great input. <laughs> Among with yeah. trolling and shit, like uh, I think you'll find a lot of useful stuff. Uh, I heard it already. I will do that. Uh, yeah, uh, Holy Island. Um, yeah, kind of worked out. Mm -hmm. uh, the episode game tilted me the most because I won every episode mirror versus GOA so far, and these fucking towers tilted me so hard. And yeah, at this point I was like, ah, let's just uh, go back to. Bed. I think that Everyone. that was his best game, right? GOA, yeah. Hmm. I don't think I should lose this. He invested so much, but I lost so many builds, and yeah. The China game was also a big mess. I don't know. Maybe I should start with Spearman before I go for the dog. But uh, yeah, I know we were surprised with you going for both, right? Like you're like, okay, a little bit of a dog and a little bit of Spearman. I mean, the mill was a mistake. Sheep. I mean, yeah, it was just a weird build. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, maybe I should just start Spearman, and if I have the lead, I can go for water. Mm. And yeah, the last game was pretty fine, I guess. The last oh. game, I would say the the. The micro was probably the best from you. Yeah. Oh, champ. The, the I would build say is a weird champ, though. No, I, I was gonna say, I think your best point is probably like staying in the game and not dying. But I think a lot of your builds are just weird. Where, like, the Abbasid build was good. That I think that's the only one that was good, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's the game that tilted me the most to lose that. Yeah, like, that's, that, really that's good, the I only think. one. And we discussed that, like, that. You had way better build there, but in general, the builds are really weird, or like the open. And we said, we said better builds than GUA. I don't think your builds are good. Like, the build on Abbasid was very well, right? It's uh, the one I where mean, he started running left and right with his villager to, to make TCs. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he can, he can rewatch the VOD, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Th yeah. there's like a lot, like, it, it was the best, like, um, like build that he had, not necessarily yeah, yeah, like maybe yeah. super, you know, but. Um, I think the biggest thing for you to do is uh, what Marine Lord said that he told you already is that there's no cavalry run buys like you and GUA GUA did run buys in game one after that not a single run by in all other four games from either of you and you both went cavalry every single game I mean I tried to make some run buys in the China game but uh, my, my rating is bad it got way better already like i talked with marine lot already about it no no but, but you'll yeah. see you guys like trust me you did not raid at all either of you, you yeah you'll see like, in the games. i agree i raided in the china game at like 25 minutes so yeah that's not rating um uh yeah i think like no kappa we actually did like it kind of started meme by the way yeah. but uh, we Game actually got like meme. real analytical and shit and this kind of stuff so i think uh you'll find yeah, some useful stuff core w yeah i will i will and uh yeah all right well anyway go to sleep i know it's uh i don't know if it's too early or too late for you at this point <laughs> no I mean, i'm gonna take a sleep till now and then i will sleep <laughs> all right all right ggs it was fun though it was a good series we enjoyed it yeah thank you thanks what for the uh, interview thanks and uh, for the advice yeah, bye. Or bye -bye. thank you for casting as well Marine Lord. it was fun i enjoyed it it was fun actually i again we try to make more of these show matches with some of the other players we didn't manage to but I think this would be like good content, um, you know, casting with another pro player and stuff. It'd be fun. You meme a little bit, you talk a little bit about the game <clears throat> and stuff like that. Uh, I will be thanking you guys for watching. We got some content today for YouTube, so that's nice. My clips channel is back, by the way. I don't know what, what something came over me and uh, I uploaded like seven clips yesterday. They will be releasing every day. Uh, so if you want to check the clips channel, it, it might be back at least for like next 10 days until I stop uploading again. We will see. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. This was a little not planned, expected, uh, show match, but there it is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.